All right. Uh, let me see. Oh, you want to hear from Eric the Midget or not? Sure. Oh. It's, uh, I guess American Idol is, is, is it tonight. He's promoting his idol show, yeah. which is on the Internet. Eric. Hello. <laughs> Good morning, Eric. How are you, Eric? Good. What can we do for you? Well, just that, uh, you know, tonight to my American Idol show that I just wanted to call in to... Boring! <laughs> <laughs> How's that uh, girlfriend of yours? She's good. Yeah, she make any plans to come see you? We're working on a thing for around Valentine's Day. Is she still she fucking everyone more? besides you? <laughs> She's not fucking oh, anyone. <laughs> But they Did you email you... Robin and call me a fat piece of shit? <laughs> hey, Eric, how can Artie win Dana back? <laughs> yeah, you seem to be a stud. I, you're, you're somehow keeping this hot chick on the line. What, what's the advice there, uh, Fruity? Dye your hair. Completely change your personality. Right. <laughs> to, more, to more like yours? <laughs> Eric is more sensitive than you are, Artie. You know what's funny about looking at him on the screen? There's so much glare on those glasses. <laughs> Those aren't glasses. Those are his eyes. <laughs> you know, you know. Eric was supposed to do. He called me yesterday. He said he was going to do a relationship advice on his Johnny Frado site last night. But oh, he didn't really? do it. I was wondering what happened. It, it, it got pushed back. <laughs> How to what be bullshitted you, by a chick? What did you need to have been in a relationship in order to give relationship advice? I am in one. No, you've been one in for in one for two weeks, Eric. And now you're an expert. <laughs> well. I guess a little bit. The only person in your life who's fucking you is the person that does that hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because your roots are showing. When is it time for a, a tune-up? When are you going to, um, what are Wait you going to... Yeah. Artie, you're one to talk. The other night, people noticed that your hair looked a lot darker than usual. What are you talking about? On Letterman. I don't, I don't dye my hair. Yeah, I don't either. People think I do. I don't. I honestly would never do yeah. that. I mean, I don't know. If it's darker, it's dark. Hey, what are you going to call yourself on this new advice show? Eric's a gay actor. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, what's that got to do with relationship advice? Yeah, you better come up. you got to come up with a better name than that. What are you going to call yourself on the relationship show? Eric's a shit cock. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that makes sense. Shit cock's my favorite. It means you get a lot of anal. <laughs> <laughs> could imply you're gay, but you know, we'll just say it's a chick. Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, anyway. You really just not getting under my skin anymore? What is that? Those sound, uh, the <clears throat> voice clips. Bullshit. Oh, it's getting under your skin. You're just acting. You're trying to use reverse psychology. We're not falling yeah. for it. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to call it? Hey, I'll what tell you what, I'll give you a chance. What, what is your new name? Eric the Retarded Magic. <laughs> okay. Well, Eric the Retarded Midget, could you give Artie some relationship advice? You say you already told him change your personality. No, no, real relationship advice. I he think that was real. I think I think it's I think he's late. right on the head. It's too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop Artie. Being a, stop being a um, drug addict and a junkie and chronic gambler. That may help. That's easier said than done. Yeah, you can't just do that overnight. It's good advice. I'm talking about getting Dana back right now. Well, he's, <laughs> he's, he's absolutely right, I think. I think Eric's on target. So stop being a drug addict? <laughs> <laughs> right this day. I never thought of that. Hey, Eric, I'm looking at your webcam now. You're particularly blotchy today. Yeah, on the right side. Oh, well, yeah, the left side of his face. Do you sleep on your left side? Sometimes. Yeah, do you see all those zits and, like, red shit? Like, it's, it's all in your forehead and all the way down to your chin. Almost looks like it was beaten up. Yeah, it looks like someone punched you. It looks like someone put glasses on a tangerine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and dyed hair on top of the tangerine. <laughs> and epoxy the phone to its side. <laughs> hey, Eric, man, did you hear I've been using your method on the road? I've been fucking the bed. He, he likes it. I heard, I heard that last week. <laughs> so you could give that kind of advice. Yeah, how to jerk off. <laughs> that seems a little more appropriate. You should do an Eric the Jerk Off show. 
Like, hey, you need, you, you, you got to whack off. You're an expert at it. So, yeah. Eric, I don't get it. So what do I do? Do I pretend the pillow is the girl, or what do I do? No, I'm not. Not making any comment about that. <laughs> no, you won't comment on things you know. Have you ever masturbated thinking about your new girlfriend? <clears throat> uh, yes. All right. So when you're laying there thinking about her, and I know you're in love with her, so it makes it okay. Uh, do you ever like the pillow? Is that her face? Do you ever kiss the pillow? <laughs> Why are you uh, trying to get me to go into this? Well, I'm just curious. I mean, I'm asking you a relationship. There are people advice. out there who need to know. I mean, so far your relationship is sort of imaginary in the sense that you haven't gotten your hands on it. And if we're going to listen to you about the American Idol, we want to know everything about you. But... Did you do that, Artie? Did you, like, kiss the pillow? Was like the girl you... head the pillow? I told you, the chick in Syracuse, her name was Lauren, and I, I named the pillow Lauren. Did you really? Did you say, like, oh, Lauren? Yeah. Did you stroke the pillow? No, yeah. what did you, so And the pillow what never did. called me fat. No, tell, <laughs> tell, tell us what you did. Like, you kissed I, it? Yeah, like, you kiss it, you're like, uh, you know, you got the pillow underneath you, and you're, you're fucking the bed, and you're saying, oh, well, you know, what's the girl's name? What's Lauren? The, what's the, what's oh. Eric's name, uh, the chick's name? Kathy McPhee? No, Kendra. Oh, Kathy Kendra. McPhee. Kendra. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's simple. So, Eric, do you recommend that, that the pillow become the head of the girl? Mm. As Artie did? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know how you do it. I'm asking you advice. I'm trying to get a, a preview of the show you're doing. You're the expert. In fact, people should call in Eric's show tonight and ask masturbation questions. <laughs> There's nothing to call. There's no number or anything. You have to be in the room and ask a question I see. in the room. Do you finish on the bed, Artie? Did you actually finish into the sheets like Eric does? Yeah. Okay, I was a hotel. I didn't care. That's so mean of you guys. Eric, who, who washes your sheets? I don't do that on the sheets. You do what are you doing on? Why does it matter? <laughs> Tell us, Eric. PJ please. Pants. We're trying to get the details. Well, if you do it in your PJ pants, some of it has to get on the sheets. Just can't Ew, God, it can't, that's can't, got to be wet. You're you lying in the wet spot. Yeah, it can't stay contained in the PJ pants. And it's those like, pants must stand up on their own. <laughs> it's a heavy load. <laughs> you have to wash your PJ pants every time you do that. <laughs> right? No. Ew, you no. Oh, oh, man. So when you put your PJ pants on... They could you... have last night's residue in them? Wait, you don't wear underwear? Oh, you do uh, it in your underwear. Oh, so then you change your underwear in the morning? Yes. Ugh. And then who washes your underwear? <laughs> what lucky farmer has that, that guy shit? typing? Yeah, who, now who, seriously, who washes your underpants? Johnny Frado. Oh. <laughs> oh. Casey. <laughs> who does it? Room, my roommate with all the other laundry. Oh. oh. So oh, could, sweet Ponada. So he could put his hand in there and feel some wet load oh. in, in your underpants. I hope he wears oh. gloves. Stay away from the underwear. It's extremely moist this morning. <laughs> <laughs> do you do this Heavy every night? Heavy night with uh, my day Kendra. <laughs> I've been taking a vitamin. It makes me have strings. <laughs> his fucking underwear is like a piece of concrete in the morning. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I had to jackhammer it off my thigh. I mean, that is gross. Have you ever, like, sometimes... Like, I used to beat off and then, like, leave the tissues wrapped around my penis, and in the morning I couldn't get the tissues. Stuck, right? Yeah, they were stuck oh. on there, and then I have to oh. pee them off. Oh. It's like pulling away at, like, a new uh, piece of toilet paper. Yeah, sometimes you think your penis is going to oh. rip. Have you ever ripped your penis on your underwear? No. So, what, how, do you un how do you detach your penis from, does it ever become, like, sort of glued to your underwear? No. How do you manage to avoid all this? Yeah, how do you avoid that? Good question, Mom. <laughs> it really is. I mean, I'm I'm curious. I never get to talk yeah, to guys about this. People are wondering mm. out there. They have this problem. Eric, I'm enjoying your appearance. I'm actually learning something. How do you keep your penis from becoming glued to the underpants? I just manage to keep it from doing that. How? Why is it so fucking important? Because you know what? Here, I finally found something you're an expert in. 
and something that you and I can bond over. Yeah, grossness. And I, yeah, and I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, I don't want to. You, know, you know, when you call into the Playboy Channel, if you talked about this kind of shit, people would keep you on the air. I mean, this is fascinating. Everybody jerks off. You don't have to be embarrassed. You're not the only one doing it. We find it fascinating that you manage to to not get up and clean up afterwards, and you don't wind up with this glued to your private no. part. You're I mean, grotesque. I, you fall asleep. First of all, if I came in my underpants, I'd get up and like oh. take, take them off. It'd be too uncomfortable. It'd be wet, right? Yeah. Unless you have a really small load. What do you have? Yeah, you're putting out what? Do you have a tiny load because you're of small stature? Yes. Oh, you don't have a normal size load? Uh, little yeah. people, little world, little, uh, load? little load? Wait, is that true, Eric? Little people have little loads? <laughs> I guess, but will you please shut the fuck up about this? How how, how small could it be? <laughs> you know what? That's wait, a good, wait, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. That's a good nickname, little load. <laughs> you're telling me... Eric, the little load. That a, a, um, a man, a, a, a small man's load is proportionately smaller? What? You think I go around and ask another little people, guys, that? No, but, you, the yeah, but, you no, but you've, you've watched porno, and you see the loads these guys drop. I don't watch that part. Of yes, you do. Eric, do us a favor. You, wait, wait, wait. You close your eyes when the guy comes? Yeah, it's like a... I want to see that. So you've never... Oh, come on. You don't on. want to see the humiliation of a woman as the load is all over her face? <laughs> That's the best part of the video. Eric, do, do you know what, Eric? We're going to send you a regular size guy's load and just compare it to yours. He's claiming he has a small load. I don't believe that. But it makes sense if he's not figuring, not oh, jumping no. out of bed. Oh, hey, uh, Richard, you've watched midget porn. Yeah, I was just How? getting ready to say, I've seen a midget shoot a pretty good size load. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but those are porn midgets. Well, it just so might take Eric a little longer to save it up. Nah, midgets have a regular load. It took me three bottles of shampoo once to get it out. <laughs> Yeah, but Eric's claiming that his load is smaller than, a, 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 let's say, a normal-sized man. But how would he know if he doesn't watch loads in movies? But he doesn't have to get he up and clean up. Load. He's getting embarrassed, right. but, but he, he does watch loads in movies. How yeah. can he miss it? He immediately said his load was smaller, mm -hmm. so he knows. But how you know what? At this one time, I have to defend Eric. I don't think it's that crazy to whack off and not into your underwear and not change it. I oh, do that all the time. Oh, you don't find that odd. No, I do that I'm every shocked. time. Yeah, because you're, no, you're you close. Feel, does your penis ever stick to your underwear? It does. But you so know what? You in a, like in a weird way, just like Fred just said, I like it. Like I in the like morning, I like pulling my underwear away from my belly. And it, there's just uh. something like... Yeah, but what about if your penis is stuck to your underpants? I like that. You like it? Yeah. You like the sensation? You like it all. It's a cool sensation. Up and yeah. Up. Eric, is that what you're trying to say? Like, Richard, you enjoy the sensation of pulling your underpants away in the morning? No, I don't enjoy that. But you just But do you're it. saying you don't even have the, that problem. Do you use, like, a Vaseline product or something to keep the... He definitely has that problem if, if he's... You know, but he says he has a little load, so he's just... So what? He has a, you know, maybe he's got a, a little load. Penis. Load's a load. It's still like crazy glue, that load. Yeah, but maybe he's putting it in like a certain... You know, he moves his pants around. So or maybe it's... In, uh, maybe he shifts his pants? Yeah. Yeah, but during the night... I for the pubes. <laughs> or maybe it's drying up in his belly button inside. Oh, my God. Is that true? No, it's not. No, it's like come not. reservoir. Hit. What? What? said, no, it's not, you hick. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to defend you, Eric. <laughs> Eric, so you wake up in the morning. Your underpants are all sticky. You put them in the hamper, I guess. And then your roommate comes and washes them? Yes, just like he washes all the rest of the wow. laundry. That's so vile. <laughs> That's and do vile. you do this every night, Eric? No. How often? I was not going to say. Why not? It's a big deal. I went to surprise my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you did it? Don't remember. Mm -hmm. oh, would, would Eric be willing to shoot a load into a, like a soda bottle so we can then he can send it to us? And we'll judge if it's a normal size load. I don't think load. we need a soda bottle. <laughs> Yeah, you might just need like um like a chill, a toothpick uh a symbol a, a pill bottle. <laughs> Eric, can you send us a load so we can measure it? 
No, I cannot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Too small to even collect? No, I just I will not do that. Uh-huh. Robin wants to see your load. <laughs> we all do. Can't you do it for me? Send us some soiled underwear. <laughs> <laughs> we want to auction it off. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so blotchy today? I'm concerned about you. What's going on over there? Nuclear radiation. <laughs> but the whole side of your face is like covered in zits. You're looking Benji-ish. Yeah. It's not covered in zits, you asswipe. It's red. It is red like red. he sleeps on that side. No, but it, that's ridiculous. I slept in my cum. <laughs> oh, my God. He had to tear the sheets oh, from I shot my load on my face. <laughs> No, really, because oh, Benji... I did not. You've got the whole Benji thing going. Benji gets yeah. all blotchy. Yeah. We don't know why he's blotchy either. Could you pop out your eyes? No, really, what, what's going on, uh, Eric? I'm concerned. Well, Listen. when you're in high school, they say if you masturbate too much, you get acne and stuff. No, so maybe that's, that's not what's going on. <laughs> really? No, he no has but a you see how condition. his finger, is, uh, his hand is propped up there? It might be that. No, you know what? You're rubbing your face too much. Don't put your hands on your face. Take your hand away. You that's quote... not the cause. What, what is, is the cause then? Maybe the phone. No, his, his oh. forehead is all red. And covered but in bumps. But that stays red. No. Yeah. See that? There are bumps up there. There are. There What's are. on the side of your oh. face? Looks like a frog's back. Well, then you need a new cameraman because I'm telling you. <laughs> it's got to be his bed. His bed must be filthy. If he comes in a sheet and all stuff the and then he's rolling he's around allergic to his own cum. <laughs> you think that's it? I bet that's yeah. it. The sheets just got changed last night. Oh. Yeah, but before that, when was the last time? They get changed weekly. Yeah, he's got some kind of nervous condition there. you got to change it hourly. I don't know what product you're using, Eric. Maybe you got to change it. We need to send Eric to a spa, maybe, yeah. for a facial. Before that manicure. girlfriend comes out, yeah, he's got to get a... We need to some... fix you up. I'm going to put him in a tanning bed. <laughs> yeah, we got to get you uh, dolled up before you meet the girl the you've been dating water. for two years. Yeah. I just realized, you know what? You need a tan. <laughs> I don't need a tanning bed. I need a tanning crib. A microwave. <laughs> well, Eric, I would love to talk masturbation talk with you if you ever want to do a show on that, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. We're going to send you a tanning bed, but don't fuck it. Shut up, fat junkie. Oh. <laughs> Sal said he used to jerk off in a tanning bed. Oh, can't on. do that. Well, Eric, uh, your show is tonight. What You want to give it a plug? What, what, how do people tune it in? Go to www.jfsc.tv at 8 o'clock Pacific Coast time. Now, will it also work if I just Google boring? <laughs> That'll pop up. It's oh, the only right. listing. <laughs> well, good luck with the show. I hope your technical problems are worked out. I'm going to Google mind-numbingly dull. <laughs> You'll find me. Oh, there you are. There you are. <laughs> you just Googled that and Eric came up? Yeah. <laughs> I, I cross-reference mind-numbingly dull with blotchy. Eric, is there something that we could uh, type into, uh, let's say, uh, Google if we forget the address so we can find you easily? Eric the Annoying Midget. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. If we put in Eric the Annoying Midget, it'll come up. Look what it says across the screen. Hang on. Let it go back to the beginning. Eric's skin is fine. Fat ass. Eat me, fat ass, and big, big nose. Me. All right. Oh. Well, you want to be that way? I, was, <laughs> I gave you a plug. I don't know. That's great. Very All right. nice. All right. Thank you, Eric, and good luck with your show tonight. And we'll be sure to listen to it tomorrow. Let's hope the technical problems have worked out. I had a hard time following it the last Actually, time. Actually, I love the technical problems. You do. That's your favorite part of the <laughs> yes. show? That sounds like a great network show. Fat ass and big nose. Jake anybody, and the fat man. In case anybody forgets what that show sounds like, I can... Please. Oh, oh, uh, somebody in the room... <laughs> I think what is it? Judge wants to know why it still says on your MySpace that you're single. Doesn't anymore. Okay. Um, I will change that soon. <laughs> I know I will. I just have to get to it. <laughs> yeah, you need to change that pretty quick because you know you're going to get bombarded with that one. That's been. Yeah. We're trying to hear your show. What is that? I said that's been fixed. All right. All right, Eric, we look forward to it. Instead of saying single, it says duped. No, it does not. It's not an option, and that's not what's going on, Robin.
No, we'll see when you have sex with your new girlfriend. And, and why out of anyone do you feel like you have the ability to put any two cents into this? When you don't say hardly shit about your relationship with Jim. Well, you got a point there, Eric, because uh, even the listeners write in and say, what is with Robin? Mm. Uh, you know, she's the first one to say you have to come clean for the show. I, I do? I guess so. That's what it says in the email. I don't recall saying that. Uh, here it is. Um, a couple of emails that make Robin's point. I'll read you one. How can you allow Robin, of all people, to censor the show? Everyone on the show is fair game, and she needs to deal with it. Think of all the shit the rest of you deal with on your private life. Damn, Robin. Um, uh, uh, too bad. Boy, these guys are illiterate. <laughs> Damn, Robin. Lost Dana over it. That said, too bad, Robin. Your whereabouts are free game. I don't know what that. Damn, Robin lost Dana over it. What is that? I don't understand people's emails. <laughs> well, glad uh, you picked it up to read. Yeah, it was, it was retarded. <laughs> All right, thank you, Eric, and uh, we will listen to your show. We will make sure to uh, check it out tonight. And, uh, by the way, if I want to listen to that show or, you know, certainly feel a part of it, uh, what would I call you on that show? Eric, the ignorant asshole. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Eric, thank you. Okay. Bye. Take care. Take care. Paint your hair. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah. If you go to Google and you put in the phrase "mind-numbingly dull," yeah, Eric is the third and fourth entry. <laughs> <laughs> but what's more dull and mind-numbing than Eric? Wait. I want to know what's number one. Are you serious? <laughs> There's something on, new, on YouTube called Eric the Actor's Mind-Numbingly Dull Hour. Yeah. And so if you put in that phrase, that's the, the, the second, the third and fourth entry are Eric the Actor's. Oh, that's because that's cause I said it last week. Too, but that's amazing. <laughs> I put it in there as a So name. what is first and second? Just really. Something in a different language where it becomes thought for reflection on obsession. I don't know what that is. It's a French word. And Amazon.com, Mind-Numbingly Dull. Uh, my numbingly dull. First two, the first two are two episodes of Kiner's Corner from 1970. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty dull. Uh, well, Eric, I wish you luck, and of course, uh, I hope you work out the technical problems. Thank you. Okay. Bye for now. Bye. Say bye for now. No. Come on. <laughs> Come on, that's your favorite thing to say. You haven't said it for us in a long time. I'm not saying it because of the fact that after you started in with all that talk about masturbation, it led to a bunch of stupid asses coming in here that I had to kick left and right. <laughs> Someone told me he runs that website like a Nazi. I would imagine he does. Anybody says anything negative, he throws them out. they go. Out, out they go. You'd have a lot more people in there if you just tolerated a, a, a bit of the uh, shenanigans. People just want to have fun with you, Eric. Right. He has no sense of humor. <laughs> what is it? It's not even like insulting him or anything. If you ask like a question, you know, a wrong question, you're out. You're out. You're out. Like what? What would be an example? Like even like what you just asked him. Like if you asked him anything about masturbation, out. Out. <laughs> Eric, you got you got to let people do their thing. I <laughs> know oh, it's this stupid ass SS and those in syndicate members. <laughs> syndicate. Members. Why am I in here? What are syndicate members? Actually, he knows. He's friends with the dumbass leader. There's a syndicate. <laughs> Shirley's friends with the syndicate leader? <laughs> yes, he is. And what is the syndicate? One of the, I have you on the one phone. Of, Tell one me. Of the dumb, one of the reasons why I don't want to ever do, deal with Shirley again. Because uh, Shirley is friends with the syndicate? <laughs> yep. And what is the syndicate? They're a group of idiots led by a guy named Dino. And, and what what are they they, do? what's their purpose? They do stupid things like they're, Dino's one of Mutt's mods. And it's the whole world we don't know I about. I know. And what's he talking about? Mutt's mods. He's saying that there's a group called the Syndicate that is friends with Shuli that are, that are that are after him. <laughs> on the website. <laughs> this is a cartoon in the making. Yeah, I got I got sucked into this this weekend. Mm -hmm. 
and I spoke to Eric yesterday. Eric's one of those guys that gets violently angry, and then when you sit and you talk reason to him, he totally, like, changes his mind. There's some weird thing going on between the Stern Fan Network and the JFS, whatever the fuck they're called. The JFSers. So I get, I get an email from one of the JFSers over the weekend, some, some guy that works on the site. It's, like, ridiculously long, and it basically is how could we as a show support SFN? Do we know what's going on? And I guess somebody posted Johnny Frado's home number, and somebody posted uh, Eric DeMint's home number. I look into it. You know, they're making us sound like we're horrible people for supporting him. I look into it. I don't support him. I mean, they're there. I mean, but, what am I going to do, ignore him? But, but it, turns, so it turns out that as soon as Mutt found out both things were done, they were taken down almost immediately. Right. And I said, this, I said, Eric, yours was taken down almost immediately. Johnny's was taken down within three hours. I said, you can't monitor every single thing. As soon as he found out, even though you guys don't get along, Mutt was honorable and acted right away. And then there's a, you know, that long pause, and he goes, I guess. You're right. <laughs> and, but in the meantime, you get these angry emails, but I'm like, it's a world I don't want to be part of. Right. They have their but own are, little wars going on. But what about the syndicate? Well, I think the, the syndicate, is that are those the people at Stern Fan Network who are against you, Eric? Right, and my technical advisor just said to tell you how you might want to get into the syndicate because <laughs> they are ripping you off. Right, so there's another argument, you know. They're claiming that somewhere on there, there's a, you know, there might be a guy who's a posting. Of re Johnny Frado and Mutt are at each other's throats. Right? Really? No. At each other's throats. They hate each other now. But what about the syndicate? Well, the syndicate was what Eric named them, I guess, is some people I, that might be. What they name themselves. Okay, what are they doing? I, what are they doing, Eric? Well, I think you're trying to get to it. Yeah, but it's funnier when you say it. They are, t like, um, like my technical advisor is trying to tell me they're ripping you guys off by taking uh, things from our TV and posting them on file sharing. Uh-oh. Well, I'm against the syndicate, well, too. I'm joining well, forces you're joining with you. forces with and, Eric. And the syndicate are no friends of mine. And we looked into it, and we uh, were trying to find proof of that. But it's, again, oh. like, I got... I got so maybe he's lying about the syndicate to get to me get against you. Well, he doesn't maybe know. They're your friends. He only knows what he's being told by a guy. Right. I see. Right, Eric? Would that be fair? I guess, but I trust Johnny. Uh, of course you do. Well, let me tell you, this is really heating up. A lot of <laughs> I didn't how, know all this was going. A on. lot of negative emails flying back and forth to me and Tim. Both sides saying we have to, you know, we have to step in the middle and put our foot down. And I'm just like, well, first I'm of tired. all, I have nothing to do with the Stern Fan Network, nor, nor do, the Syndicate. No, I also want to deny any or allegations. Or Johnny Frado's, uh, whatever that <laughs> network of his is. I want to deny any involvement with the Syndicate. <laughs> but, <laughs> now I know. but here's the argument that they make. This is what the argument they make in the email. By having Mutt have his own show here, show here we are in fact endorsing Stern Fan Network. Oh. And, when, and whenever they do anything wrong. He, they can't believe that somebody like you, who's as honorable, would let that go on. Well, I know Eric once posted all of our email, our private email yes, addresses. Yes, he did. That did he? And my phone number and my email address, yeah. You yes. did, right, Eric? Eric did that. Right, Eric? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Oh, so, how dare you? Then by having Eric on, I'm endorsing him. Maybe I shouldn't have him on. Is that Why right? Why did you do that, Eric? I apologize for that last time. <laughs> Why, what did you do? What were you angry about? Well, you guys would take a long time to get back to me about if I was going to be having that idol show on Sirius. And that, and you blew, you blew it away for us. You gave away all of our secrets. Wow. Well, I was trying to get the fans to wow. email you guys. And mm -hmm. Wow, that's so mean. Thanks a lot. Well, you're no better than the syndicate, then. Yeah, you play by the same dirty rules. You start with dirty rules, but now you got to live by dirty rules. Tim, what do you make of all this between the syndicate, the SFNers, the <laughs> JFSs? All I've got to say to uh, Eric the Midget is revenge is a bitch. Because when we first started here, he posted Gary's number, my right. direct line, the whole thing. Shit mm -hmm. happens. Shit yeah, happens. there you go, yeah. Eric. You Live with it. Now you're pissed off, Tim. Live with it. All right, obviously there's a lot going on. Oh, Mutt wants to explain the syndicate. i got to hear this. I hope I hope this is fascinating to everyone. It is to me. I'm, I am endlessly fascinated. <laughs> Mike, go ahead, please. 
Hey, how are you? And I wanted to say that first that Johnny Jr. is the one that posted Johnny's phone number, and it's on his contact page on his website. But we took it down anyway because we just don't want it to look bad. And as for the syndicate thing, they keep trying to say that there's people on SFN bootlegging Howard TV. Nothing like that's going on. I'm then I apologize to the syndicate. Anything at all that you need. Uh, anyway, they're just fighting with us right now. I'm not fighting with them. They do get lots of the SFNers like working up back and forth because they like going into Eric's chat room and sure. I'm growing with them. But I'm doing everything I can to control them. Now, you and Johnny, what's going on there? I don't know. He, he wanted to like buy SFN at one point. And I wouldn't <laughs> sell it, so now he started this other website. And he feels that he has to like take me down so he can be the new website. I, I don't really know. I'm trying to stay out of all of it. Some fighting went on. How much did he offer of, you? For? Yeah, I'm curious about yeah. that. Yeah, how much um, money? He didn't come right out with a, a solid number, but it, there was like a seven-figure sort of like wow. uh, around the bout offer. It was sort of like he hinted at that, and then just nothing ever happened with it. I, I just wasn't interested in selling. It was right at a time that I was talking to Tim about some stuff, and I didn't want to get rid of the site no matter what it was. Mm -hmm. Wow. I had no idea it was Look worth that kind that. of money. Yeah. Is SFN worth more than JumpTheShark.com? <laughs> I don't know about that. But... All right. Well, anyway, Eric... I just wanted to call up and say that we're not stealing anything, and I hope Eric uh, loves us again one day. Mud, are you a part of the syndicate? No, no, no. I... Can you reveal if you're a part of the syndicate? I, I think any Internet mob stuff is just dumb, uh, but, you know, if they want to, like, call themselves the syndicate or if they want to call themselves the Frado Social Club, like, it doesn't bother me. How many people do you think are in the syndicate that are, you know, currently at war with Eric? I don't know, 20? 20. You know, it's like... Oh, man. And who leads the syndicate? God. Who is this Dino? Okay, at one point, this guy Dino started these Internet radio shows, and then Johnny's group split off from the syndicate. They all used to be part of the syndicate, but they split off and started their own Internet radio this. shows. And now they're fighting with one another, because they are the better Internet radio shows than the syndicate, and somehow... I'm mixed in the middle, and they've decided I'm the enemy because I don't hate the syndicate. It's really dumb. All right. Well, thank you, Mud. I'm no clearer on this than before. You have to choose sides, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm not allowed to just stay out of their gay fight, and so somehow I'm one of the bad people, too. All right. The, All right. Across his screen is Mud is lying. Oh. <laughs> Eric, why is Mud lying? <laughs> That's my technical person doing that. Oh, I you see. don't believe that? Well, I don't think. Or, well, I think he's lying. I don't believe what he says. I, no, I just don't believe him. All right. Well, I love you, Eric. I think you're great on the show, and uh, I don't know how to make this stuff stop. The, uh, but I can tell you nobody's stealing no shit, buddy. Um, I know your technical advisor had screenshots of something from back in October, mm -hmm. Um, but that was like some other website that had nothing to do with SFN, and that site was shut down in October. Well, Matt, you've uh, uh, given a testimony that you're not a member of the syndicate. No. And I believe you. All right, thank you. Hey, have a good one. I just, I'm just i wondering now who is Eric's technical person. That that sounds like a job as bad as being the sound guy on a porn set. I mean, could you imagine? See, I don't know if the technical person is also the laundry person. <laughs> no, she said... Well, My no, technical person. He said the same guy who does the camera washes his underwear. No, oh, I did not. Yes, you did. All right, well, oh, I did not. Eric, there's lots more to talk about, but unfortunately we're out of time, and, and who knows? Hey, shut up for a minute. The first person, you see the little windows on the screen? Yes. Little windows. The first guy is the technical person. And by the way, a Hook Nose Mike is on. He claims he's part of the syndicate. Oh, really? Is that right, Hook Nose? You're in the syndicate? <laughs> well, I was Hook Nose Jew Bastard. Yeah, I do a show uh, twice a week on the syndicate, and all this bullshit with this little fuck wow. has nothing to do with what, what the syndicate does, bro. We just go on there. We do our thing. We have a lot of fun. We get a lot of people, a lot of traffic coming in there checking shit out. And then these people come into our room, and they, they, have, they had us shut down this week. Mm -hmm. You know, where, where, where we... Is the syndicate against Eric? Well, Eric, apparently... Johnny Fado and Eric and all these other people, they branched off from the syndicate and they started their own thing, and then they started a hate battle between us.
Motherfucker. So they would come in here, and Johnny Files got more fucking money than we do. So he gave, you know, Stick Cam, the server. They used some money for a banner and everything else and blah, blah, blah. So now he's got the admins in his pocket. So whatever he Wow, does, Robin, who knew? This is crazy. I didn't realize that Eric was once part of the syndicate and I know. broke off. Knows idiot. I was never. I was never a part of the syndicate. <laughs> Sounds like Hook Nose is saying you were a part of the syndicate. You probably were a big man in the syndicate. Eric, don't tell me that you didn't. Don't, Eric, don't tell me that you didn't come into my fucking show one morning and I had these three bras on camera getting fucking. I naked. was. I was in there, but I never claimed to be a part of it. I never well, said I was a member. Well, I, I never said that you were a member. I said Johnny Fado and, and, and the people over at JSSC. Like, uh, uh, well, obviously, this is something that's the not... The lines it's are not, getting blurry. It's not gonna, are you guys as fascinated by this as I am? I think I'm, I'm like... <laughs> I zoned. Are you dead No, really? no, no, no. Yeah. I'm writing all this down. I've got a great... Eric's the superhero, and all these people right. are plotting against him. All right, all right. Eric, thank you. Hook nose, thank you. Hey, hold on. Yeah. Real quick, I just want to say, I went up against Eric one Saturday night, bro, and I took him down. You know what I'm saying? I had, had 6,000 fucking people on my show. Wow. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Eric, how did you let that happen? Go up against me tonight at 8. Hey, listen, hey, hey, listen Howie, Howie, if you come to my show, I actually get girls to come to my fucking studio and take their clothes off, not just dream like this little bastard. <laughs> All right. Well, Erica, you've been challenged, and uh, let's see who the, if the better man wins. All right, Al, listen, right. Saturday night's at midnight, brother, East Coast time, Syndicate right. Radio. And Erica uh, is on tonight with his American Idol <laughs> chat show. <laughs> All right, thank you. Sure, Alex. Thanks to both of you. All right, pal. Bye. Thank you, Eric. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it, Rob. Wow, what an episode. I have. have to take a break. Uh, but Gary, what is this about you hate Eric the Midget? I, I got I got a voicemail. For... No, no, because no, I've seen him in California. No, listen, you in hate Sacramento. him. You don't like him, right? No, I don't like him. Everybody else didn't like him that much. I received a voicemail. I'll play it for uh, the audience right now. Get, this is Gary the Retard leaving me a voicemail all about he's upset with Eric the Midget. And then maybe Gary can explain it. All right. All right here we go. Hey, you motherfucker. Hey, you know what? <laughs> He always pick up the goddamn phone for Eric the Midget. How is Stern? Why you don't pick up the fucking phone for me every time I call in the goddamn station? You know what, Eric the Midget? I seen that son of a bitch in California. All he was doing, complain, complain, complain. Eh, complain, you son of a bitch, Eric the Midget. You know what? He looks like crap. He thinks you know baby little thing. You know what? That stupid son. To respond or forward, press 1. <laughs> to delete, press star. All right, so you, you are upset essentially because he seems to be the favorite character on the show. No, I mean, I mean I've mean, heard him on the radio quite a few times because he called and gives you a bad time, you know. And I don't think it's fair when you, you know. And he did the same thing in California. Or you just sit back in the corner and watch everybody do the comedy shows and you just, you know. Bob, maybe, you know. Well, let's get to Steve Langford. Steve, what's going on in the Howard 100 newsroom? Come on in and tell us. There's a guy who works hard. Go ahead, Steve. Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 newsroom. While Eric the Midget sits alone in a chair in Sacramento staring at his serious radio, what's his alleged sweetheart Kendra up to in Phoenix? Howard 100 News got its paws on some pictures of Kendra at the penthouse Super Bowl party over the weekend. Eric the Midge's so-called girlfriend seen hanging all over Jose Mangan, who just happens to work here at Sirius. Kendra reported to have been very flirtatious, all the while ducking questions about dubious claims she's Eric the Midge's girlfriend. Let me see that picture, if I may. Uh, it's hard to make out. What is she doing with this guy? Draping herself? Oh, my goodness. She's all over him. Oh, Eric, Look at that outfit she's wearing. If Eric saw this... Oh, let me show Is she hot in it? Oh, my goodness. Look at Eric's girlfriend. This is not right. Artie, what do you make of that? <laughs> <laughs> All 
Clearly, right, that says it all. Clearly, <laughs> Eric is your is her type. Uh, what else you got there, Steve? Meantime, Kendra or someone identifying herself as Kendra taking questions on Stern Fan Network about her alleged status as Eric the Midget Sweetie. Kendra claiming she is Eric's girlfriend, even though they've never met, going so far as to say she would love to meet the little guy's parents. All right, fair. Well, she wants to be with the parents, but not Eric. Yeah, she's okay. meeting everybody but Eric. Howard 100 News. This is Don't Miss It News. Everything you need to know about Howard is here. Howard 100. There really is a Kendra, and Kendra agrees she is the girlfriend of Eric the Midget. Her voice has been on the Stern Show, but not the rest of her. Now, finally, a colleague here at Sirius actually met Kendra in person. It's Howard 100 News exclusive. Howard 100 exclusive. Jose Mangan. He's the format manager and on-air talent for Channel 27 Heart Attack and Channel 19 Buzzsaw, two of the most kick-ass stations on Sirius. Not to mention, Jose's one of the coolest dudes here at Sirius. And he's a super fan of the Stern Show. Jose was in Arizona this past weekend for the Super Bowl. He had an encounter with someone, someone who claims to be a certain girlfriend of a certain midget. I was out there on Saturday night in Scottsdale at this place called v The Venue. So then uh, I get there and there was this blonde girl with this red streak in her hair and she sits down next to me and she's not talking to anybody. I thought she was going to talk to somebody and I'm like, hey, what's up? I'm Jose. And she's like, hi, I'm Kendra. And I'm like, you're not Kendra, are you? <laughs> and she's like, oh my God. Yeah, and I was like, oh fuck, you're so Kendra. It was Eric the Midget's Kendra. Yes. Wow, what are the odds? But don't worry, Eric. I'm sure she just kept to herself and had no contact with Jose. We started talking, and we were hanging out, and she just, you know, we were cool. And then throughout the night, she would just kind of come and hang out with me. And then I met the dude, Scott, that runs his her website. Right. And we were hanging out, bro and out and stuff. And then afterwards, after the whole thing was over, she was wearing my jacket because it was cold, and we were hanging out. Yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah. She was wearing his jacket? That's a no-no, but I'm sure that's it. Nothing else happened, right? She was holding my hand. We were walking through the the whole place, and everybody was trying to talk to her and hold her, you know, give her hugs. But she right. was sort of like kind of holding my hand. And be, I was like, wow, I'm feeling kind of fucking cool here. Right. I'm sorry to be the one to have to break the news to you, Eric. I hate that you're mad at me, and I just want to go back to our good old days. Remember those days? All right, I miss you. Talk to you later. I miss you. I miss you, too. Bye. Proud 100 News. She was saying, shalom for now. <clears throat> Mr. Bus, Blunder Bus, okay. See, Eric the Midget's on the phone. He wants to promote that show of his. Oh, tonight's the night. Yeah, well, I'll let him do it real fast, and then I'll take the break. Then we'll get to Lisa G. Eric. Hello. I, I still find it humorous when Eric calls in and promotes that show. <laughs> the show that nobody can hear. You couldn't stand to listen to it. Oh, I would never listen to it. If they worked out the technical bugs, I still don't even think I'd listen to it. <laughs> yeah, then there'd be nothing to listen to. All right. Good morning. Good morning. So you got your show tonight. Yeah, tonight and tomorrow night. Yeah. What are you uh what are you doing right now? I'm trying to fuck a chicken. <laughs> Holy shit. Really? You're trying to fuck a chicken. That's kind of a new activity for you. What's up with that? Hey, did you ever uh, make contact with Diana DiGarmo and uh do you ever, you know, you ever talk to her anymore? I'm trying to fuck Diana and her mom's hot fucking asshole. It's that simple. Got it? Okay. All right, take it easy. How far along are you on that journey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's making Eric laugh, I think. <laughs> What's up, uh, Eric? Oh, so hey. you're doing your you're doing American Idol tonight, right? Right, and tomorrow night. Right, and uh, you must be a real fan of Simon Cowell's. I want Simon Cowell to butt fuck me. Oh. Wow. He is a fan. You want Simon Cowell to butt fuck you? He's a freak. He's You're a freak today. What happened to you last <laughs> night, Eric? Eric. I'm 
confused with this call. Why is this call not going as good as it was Thursday? You guys were a hell of a lot nicer. We're going to be on Thursday than you are today. Ah, today's another day. It, 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 you know, you never know what you're going to get on this show. It's like a box of chocolate. Look, Eric, what can I do for you? Please get me on your father's cock now. I can't do that. My father's not into that kind of thing. Right, that. he's not gay. That's right. Neither am I. Good. Then why would you ask such why a thing? Why did you say you want my... Would you say that about my dad? That's rude. Right. Eric, the butt fucker's penis is a lot darker than usual. All right. You say you're talking crazy today, Eric. <laughs> Eric, what can I do for you, please? Well, I was just calling to promote the show tonight and tomorrow night and then also we are doing the Q and A's after the idol show both nights and then also Gina I think starting this week my co host has her own show on Thursday nights called uh, Ladies Night. I see. And what kind of things do people ask you after the idol show? <laughs> yeah, what is the what is the burning question for you? Any question that comes to the minds of the people in the room. What was I mean, really? What, what have you been asked? Yeah, like, what was the interesting question last week? Well, really, people keep uh, repeating the same questions over and over again. I see. And that gets annoying. Well, could you give us that question? What is it, J.D.? He gets really annoyed when these people at, at the <laughs> Q&As ask him questions that he thinks are general knowledge, <laughs> like the things that he, you know, he's brought up on the show. Like I what? Said. Like if he smokes or drinks and stuff like uh, that. He just so gets... in other words, if someone doesn't know one bit of minutia about Eric, <laughs> he's upset. Yeah. He thinks this has already been discussed. Oh, and, of course. Yeah, from yeah, what yeah. I understand, he's a real tyrant, too. If somebody says something that he doesn't like, I mean, oh, yeah. slightly out of character. I mean, he Eric bans him. He just... You know, black balls, right? Out of the room. Keep anybody in this room. He must have to. He's banning all. The you time. barely have any viewers, and now, and now you're gonna ban them. <laughs> it's like Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Eric. You know what? What? What is it you do when I ask you a question and there's these long pauses? I'm trying to fuck the chicken. <laughs> oh, that all would right. slow you down. All right. <laughs> we also do commentary during Scott Bale's show too. Good oh, Lord. I see. We're ranting out. I always wonder what Eric does when he takes these long pauses. And I mean, what do you, what do, you do? I'm trying to fuck Diana and her mom's hot fucking asshole. It's that simple. All right. Got it? Got it. All right. Do you realize that my, you look at my ham, my mouth wasn't even moving when you played that? Really? So how, how do you, you do are that? Are you a ventriloquist? <laughs> Obviously, that's not me. He's Jerry Mahoney. You think that's not you? How could how could we even do that? Sounds like you. Who's maybe doing your voice here? Two personalities, maybe. Called voice clips. Richard and Sal put them together. Oh. No. I'd know that if that were happening. Yeah, we would know that. What do you fantasize about when you're watching American Idol? I want to. Me. <laughs> now that's fascinating. Ralph, what's up? Good uh, uh, morning. All right, good oh. morning. Damn. <laughs> what's the matter, Eric? Idiot off the phone. Hey, Eric, that that, that doesn't stop you. Like this, the show has been so bad, you're still plowing through with it, huh? It's not bad. No, it's horrible. <laughs> You, Eric, Eric do you want to say? Proof. Do you want to say something to Ralph right now? Please get me on your father's cock now. That's strange. <laughs> yeah, Eric, like did you're... you ever, Eric? Did you ever decide what you wanted to be called after all that stuff? Yeah, I mean, what do you, what do you want to be called? That's a good question. Eric, the worthless sack of shit. Hmm. Like your idol last season was perfect, Ralph. Cumbersome. <laughs> 
Yeah, Ralph, you didn't have such a good show either. Eric's right. He's right. Uh, <laughs> Maybe Ralph, there isn't a good show out of the Idol show. About that bad show. Ralph, is there anything you want? I know you're a fan of Eric the Midget. Is there anything I want? Yeah, I mean, why did you call in? Uh, I was calling to talk about Robin. Oh, what, what is that? Uh, I, I think you're right. I think she, she loves being the uh, only black woman in the room, or the only black person in the room. Makes her special. All right, there's a theory, but uh, I don't know. I know one thing. The teacher always knew my name. Yeah. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yeah, she didn't have to. took her weeks to learn everybody else's. Yeah, you know, you got a point there. <laughs> I'm going to call on the girl with the good tan. <laughs> yeah. Eric, do you like black people? Yes, I have friends that are black people, yes. Well, Ooh. send some over to Robin. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have any. Although he didn't like Fantasia. Oh, that's true. She had was, nothing to do with her skin color. She was a, 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 ignorant. Well, actually, you, you're you kind of black in one area, right? Eric, the butt fucker, <laughs> is a lot darker than usual. All right. So you're mixed. <laughs> mixed art. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ralph. All right, Eric, uh, we'll advise everyone to watch your show, I guess. And uh, good luck with your show tonight. I hope the technical problems are worked out. I love that last week you were saying all these nice things about Eric, and he was expecting you to keep talking about <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about, you know, I now remember what I happened like on Eric. Thursday. Oh, we were all loving you, Eric. I like right, Eric. Yeah. I, t I told Eric I like him. You think it's going to be an ass kiss every week, Eric? you got to take a little abuse. The winds of change. Eric, you got to know I like you. That's the only reason I pick up the phone. Yeah, but it's like rubbing your ass before we slap it. Yeah, <laughs> Build you up to knock you down, dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Let me oh, be yeah. nice. Eric, tell everyone what you want to be called on your show tonight. Eric, the idiot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Eric. You don't think that's funny? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> How can you not think that's funny? I mean, what really? are you doing while the show is on? I'm trying to fuck a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we're so busy doing that. Hey, I heard a rumor you ordered gold roses from Steven Singer. Is that true, Eric, for your... Uh... For your girlfriend? For your girlfriend. For your non-girlfriend. Thanks for blowing that. <gasps> it was his surprise. No, someone told me. How am I supposed to... How come... I don't know that. Ah. Uh... <laughs> never fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just throw your money out the fucking window, Eric. How sweet, though, that he's getting a Valentine's present. <laughs> what do you think she's getting you, Eric? I don't know. <laughs> it won't be sex. <laughs> Dope. Yeah, you know, but how much did that cost you? Hey, hey, Robin, you know, for this topic, given the fact that you haven't told shit between you and... <laughs> Jim, you need to shut the fuck up. He's got a point. Yes, she has. She's fucking him. She's doing everything. I right never him. said that. She never said it. Well, come on. Two, two things we know. Robin banged Jim, and that girl didn't bang you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're wasting your money on gold roses. How many gold roses did you buy for her? It's one. One. One uh -huh. gold rose. That's sweet. No, that's sweet. Come on, Eric doesn't have a big budget. Listen, he's in love with this girl. I get it. He wants a he wants a girlfriend. You badly. know what, Eric and girls would be a good boyfriend, wouldn't you? I wish I wish I could find Eric a real girlfriend. I really do. I don't mean one of these he's, fucking chicks he's from gonna the internet. He's going to be true blue. He's going to be into yeah. you. I'm going to I'm going to make that my mission, Eric. Come on, Howard. No, why? Why? How are you going to find him a girlfriend? Well, what? There's someone for everyone. I mean, how am I going to find? Him? Look at him. He's smiling. He looks good. Yeah, but look who he's after. He's after like you know Pam Anderson. He sets the sights way not... too high. And you, you should think... set him up. You should set him up with like Wendy. Him and Wendy. Yeah. No. no, he's he not retarded. But do you think he would settle for somebody who would really be into him? Yes, I do. I think Eric. If I found you a girl, I'm not saying she's as hot as that chick on the internet, but let's face it, that chick isn't even showing up at your fucking house. Uh, let's say I find you a girl who really wants to be with you. That would be more... A girl who could overlook your shortcomings. Right. A girl who's going to sit there with you on that dopey cam. Maybe she won't be as hot as the other one. Right. She's ain't yeah, going to be hot. you could actually get rid of that roommate because she'd take care of you. Would you fuck a fat chick? <laughs> yeah. Would you? I have been interested in women that are large size, yes. Okay. So, 
What I'm saying is you want me to get, listen. Let's get serious. Let's get busy. You want me to get you a serious girlfriend or you want us to go with an imaginary girl like this one on the Internet? You decide. For now, I will stick with Kendra. Okay. Is he going with the imaginary one? So you'll stick with the imaginary one. I mean, don't you, you, well, must, you, you, you must, you must, you must be dying to stick your penis in something. I'm trying to fuck Diana and her mom's hot fucking asshole. It's that simple. All right. Got it? He's got to see how the Kendra romance plays out. I mean, that's too hot. Yeah. All right, let's assume that Kendra doesn't put out on Valentine's Day. It turns out it's a big scam. Are you seeing her Valentine's Day? No. <laughs> what are you going to do with the rose? It's being sent to her. I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know you want a girl real bad. I know you're lonely, but I think we got to start working on a girl who's really going to be with you. Yeah, I mean, do you envision a future, Eric, where Kendra will actually be there? Yes. Ugh. When When is this going to happen? We are working on it. We no, I meant, like, in the future, like, marriage. She's with you all the time. I just meant Kendra might stop by his house ever. Yeah, but my point is he's wasting time. Even if she came by, that's all she's going to do. <laughs> Tell you what, if there are any girls out there, I'm, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. Yeah. 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 Any girls out there. Now, listen, I'm, I'm talking to you. Didn't I just say to stay out of it? What? Didn't I just tell Robin to stay out of it? Yes. She's not <laughs> I don't listening. Care. She's not going to listen to you. <laughs> listen to me. Are there any girls out there who want to be in a relationship with Eric? Now, you, you got to be the type. I'll, I'll, I'll read you the profile. A, you got to be a shut in. No, uh, you don't have to no. be a shut in. Yeah, you have to have somebody who's mobile. No, you got to be shut in. That's right. And you got to want to sit there with them. But you got to not want to do a lot of things. Right. And be able to get to his house and stay there. Yeah, where do you, what, what, what state do you live in? California, right? California, right? Right. All right. And you have to be willing to sit on your computer and talk to him. No, 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 I mean, yeah. like, have a relationship in person. Like, right. Even if you're like a hot 90-year-old. I know, I, you know, I, I know that sounds crazy. Well, not maybe 90. No, right. no, 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 no. Well, maybe 70. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't like him old, Eric? You wouldn't fuck a 70-year-old? No, I want I watch Nip Tuck and I got grossed out at the storyline a couple of weeks ago where there was a young guy with a older woman. All right. Hmm. How old can we go then? I don't know. Uh, mid to late thirties. Oh All my right. God! Well, let me ask you something. All right, fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, fine. Uh, Do you care if they have all their limbs? In other words, let's say I find you a girl, late thirties, missing an arm. And got maybe, a limp. Uh, and maybe no foot. Something like that. Yeah. I mean, you know, in other words, she's not going to be perfect. You're not perfect. She's not perfect. Can you deal with a chick who's missing a leg? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Now you're talking yeah, my we're, language. We're, we're going, now we're, we're getting somewhere. somewhere. In other words, a real human being that'll be in a relationship with you as opposed to one of these chicks who's, you know, on the Internet. Right. Can I put right. my finger in your ass? And she's missing a leg. <laughs> so she's missing a leg. So if you're a girl out there, and you know you've had a hard time with men, you're a good woman, you want to be loved, you want to have a friend. Yeah, maybe you're armless and you eat with your feet. Right, or... and Eric could feed you. <laughs> like you could help each other. Like that would be a Like I've seen shit like that on TV where they go to someone's house and it's like this weird sort of coupling, like the world's largest man and the world's tiniest woman. Right. There's you know, women who like to take care of guys. Eric is perfect for that. Right. And yeah, if you would be, you know, like there's plenty of women who are sitting on the Internet writing to prisoners. And no Eric is like a prisoner. Yeah, any racial uh, barriers here? Eric, be honest. Uh, do you, you're not into, let's say, blacks or Hispanics? Hispanics. Hispanics. Asians? No. No, Eric. <laughs> this would not be a problem. Oh, so you take any race or nationality. Good, good. Now I like your attitude. Hey, and no chicks with anything to fucking promote. No website. Right. Number. Right. No, if you have something to promote, I'm, I'm taking you out yeah, of the mix. Off. Yeah, fuck off. Anything you want to say to the girls about you that would turn them on right now? Eric, the butt fucker's penis is a lot darker than usual. All right. That, that's that's turn, that sounds good. He's got a sense of humor, ladies. That's what you have Ladies, the guy knows how to make you laugh. <laughs> Eric?
Sorry. Not. What? You you are going to be doing this for no point at all. We're going to find you someone who'll be there. She's going to beat Kendra's time. You don't think that this is a good idea? No. Why? Did Especially you... two days. I mean. He's no. trying to find you a realistic girlfriend, somebody who's gonna you're gonna actually see at your house. Hey, maybe Kendra will get jealous yeah. and rush over. Yeah. Hello. I can't. I don't know what to say to that. Screw <laughs> him. All right, look, look. Here's the bottom line, and I got to move along. <laughs> you have a girlfriend that you've never met. She's never been to your house. You've never seen her in person. How long has this been going on yeah, now? I mean, girlfriend? it's been going on now a couple of months. It's ridiculous. Oh, know, a month. A month. And I know that you're excited about all this, and I know you think this sounds like fun. And I get it. I get it. You're lonely. But I'm talking about doing the ultimate. Finding a real girl. Yeah, she's going to have problems. Sure. She ain't going to be perfect. But she'll be there. Yeah. But she'll be with you. Now, that's got to turn you on a little bit. Unless you're you're damaged and you're kind of saying to yourself, you know what, I'd really rather have an imaginary girlfriend. I don't want a real girl. This is not an imaginary girlfriend. She's not there, Eric. Eric, Eric you watch TV. You know what the real world is about. <laughs> you see a girlfriend. Right. So that's why everybody's saying she's imaginary, because yeah. you're not doing anything with her. You're not, you haven't touched her. I'm going to find you like a blind chick. And Eric likes girls with big boobs. I'll, right maybe I'll find you a 10, but she's blind. A big boob blind girl. Right. Like, remember, you ever see the movie with Cher? She has a son who's got a lion kind of condition. Right. Mm. She starts dating a blind chick. She's the hottest thing I ever saw. She looked like Alicia Silverstone <laughs> from Clueless. In fact, it might have even been her. That was Laura Dern. No, it was Laura Dern. It was Laura Dern. Laura Dern. If I could hook you up with Laura Dern and she can't see, you give a fuck? No. See, unfortunately, I think Laura's only going to do something like that in the movie. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Eric, you, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm already taken. Well, we'll see how taken yeah. you are. Do you really believe that? I, I don't believe, you know what, you're a pretty intelligent guy. I don't believe you think you're taken. I think I think he's completely delusional, Howard. No. Yes. In that little apartment of his with all those TV monitors and stuff. That it's gotten to the point yeah. where he believes. Hey, Ralph, Ralph, I have not been in an apartment since April of last year. Oh, sorry. He lives in a house. You sorry. should know that. Sorry. You'd be thrown out of the chat room for yeah. saying that. Yeah, I mean, this is why you threw... <laughs> I'm going to ask you something, Eric, quite simply. What if I find you... A super hot chick. I'm telling you who looks like friggin' Elle McPherson. But she used to have a penis. Oh, now that's... No, she's oh, now a woman. No, the law, even, the law even classifies her as a woman. I don't think Eric's going for that. Why not? Why not? Oh, yeah. I think no he would. Chavons. Not a Siobhan. She's beautiful, but she used to have a penis. Yeah, and now has a full vagina. Looks like Penelope Cruz. Right. Penelope Cruz might still have her penis. No, she looks like Penelope Cruz, or she looks like, you know who she looks like? Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Our, totally uh, hot. Is thinking about it. Pair of panties. Yeah. Hot as shit. <laughs> but, okay. It was born into the wrong body. How about it? Nope. That you're not going for. That's where he draws the line. And she jerks you off. She's good at it. She fucking cooks your meals. She used to have one. Hey, Eric, what, are you going to give Kendra a deadline to see you? Like, That's a good she question. She doesn't come and see you like in a month or a week. or what, what's your, what's yeah, yeah, what is the deadline in your deadline? mind? Well, I don't have one, but exactly one month from yesterday is my birthday, so... Definitely would like to hang out with her on my birthday. So okay. it seems like the birthday is like the... All right. If, point. We're going to give it to your birthday. Yeah. If she doesn't show up by then, are you willing to admit that she's not a real girlfriend? I don't know. Right, he so. can't. He's ha It's hard for him to give this up. we got to slip the new girl in there while this mm -hmm. is going on. Mm -hmm. One last question, Eric. What do you love about her the most? What really made you fall in love with her? She's as sweet as she is beautiful. She can type. <laughs> With her feet. 
I wonder if she can type while she's getting laid. <laughs> but what I'm saying to you is, let's say a year from now, she still hasn't visited mm. you. Okay, I'm giving her one a year. year. A year. Oh, yeah, come on, no. Oh, you're killing Eric, would you me. then admit that she's not your girlfriend? I don't know. Wow. I'm quite sure it wouldn't go that long. Mm -hmm. Why is she not coming on Valentine's Day? I thought that was the whole big plan, Valentine's Day. What Where her... will she be? Yeah. With her boyfriend. What's her oh, excuse? I'm sure she'll be at work. What work is that? What does she do for work? Is she on the computer at work? No. What's her work? I thought you guys already knew that. I don't know that. What is her work? Oh, jeez. I know I've told you that before. No. Well, we no. don't remember. Tell us again. She works at a club in Phoenix. Oh, she's going to be somebody else's Valentine that night. She'll be lap dancing. A strip her. club, Eric? A strip club? Only topless, and she wears pasties. I'm so sure nobody's feeling her up. She'll be lap dancing some stranger. So rather than be with her boyfriend, she'd, she'd rather be dancing. Yeah, for strange men, for money. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to go, we'll go ahead with this, Eric. I'm going to try and find you a real woman. Yeah, I don't think we should wait. Yeah. yeah. There's okay. got to be a girl listening right now, or you know someone who maybe has been, let's say, in an accident. Hurt. Hurt. <laughs> or is sort of like been burned by every guy on the planet. <laughs> Had know? a really rough time. You're going to have to get a girl who's a little older be sick of guys, you know what I mean? Right. It's definitely got to be a girl like in her 30s. Or you know, they, they sometimes these girls can get sick of men pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah trust me. <laughs> I've met a few. I think I can pass on to Eric. <laughs> All right, Eric, I wish you luck tonight on your show. And and uh, you can tune in to him on JFSC. Eric, what, 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 what are you... Eric, what dot do you TV. Know about? Dot TV. JFSC dot TV. Dot TV. What was that, Ralph? What, what do people call you on your show, Eric? Eric the Retard. <laughs> it's it's kind of harsh, but okay. Well, why would your fans call you that? Because he throws them out of the room. And oh, I see. Do they ever call you any other names? Eric the Black the Shit. <laughs> <laughs> which one's your favorite? Which one is the most? Which one is the one? That's a good yeah, question. Pick one. Right. One. Eric the Mitchell. <laughs> oh, what's the other one? Oh. <laughs> Eric the Bastard. <laughs> Eric, it sounds like you keep going all day. I mean, how many names do they call you? I mean, is there another one? Eric the Butt Fucker. <laughs> oh, I like the retard one, Eric. I think you should stick with that. All right. Eric the Retard. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Eric, look, all jokes aside, I wish you the best and uh, hope the show goes We're well. We're going to be looking for a woman for you. Uh, hey, quit, real quick, Eric, uh, Howard, how's Eric's skin today? Is he all blotchy? Yeah, he's blotchy. He's got big red got big... Uh, spots. He looks like Gorbachev. Remember the yeah. guy, the president of Russia yeah. who had the big red stain on his yeah. head? Yeah, Eric's a little blotchy today. Looks like a can of paint exploded on Did he try the hydrocortisone cream? <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't take skin advice from <laughs> Riley Martin if you paid me. <laughs> uh, what you need is hydrocodone. <laughs> yeah, okay. And you speak to aliens, right? <laughs> Eric, how you doing, all right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to find your woman. You hear what I said? Yeah, you know what? It's like, just just find him a girl. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm taking matters. Yeah, it's enough of this. I'll part. find a girl. If you don't want her, you can reject her. Okay? He won't reject her. The room is saying that they don't see blotches at all, so I don't. Know I what see it, Eric. I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm telling you, it looks red on your forehead. It might be the lighting. Okay? So Johnny Hine, Robin, all set. All right, Steve. What do you have for us? Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 newsroom. Eric. The Romeo, a tough talking tattooed Texan who's seven foot two. Has Eric the Midget, in fact, been hiding out as the Manic Marlboro Man under the moniker Romeo Blues on Stern Fan Network? Three sources close to the ornery little guy claiming Eric's been masquerading online as Romeo Blues, a big old bad boy who just happens to spend a lot of time defending Eric the Midget and bashing his enemy. <laughs> Eric, is that true what Steve's saying? That you are on Stern Fan Network and on an alias? <laughs> 
Oh, it's not true. Just like all the other shit that comes out of that. Deny, house. deny, deny. Zero point <laughs> zero. Eric, are you denying that you are who? Romeo who? Romeo Blues. Are you Romeo Blues? <laughs> That's not me. Do you swear on the Lord Jesus Christ you are not Romeo Blues? I swear that email address is not registered to me. <laughs> Could a kid with his affliction believe in fuck Jesus the Christ? Fuck up, Mutt. Mutt? You think well, he's, he's the one that has access to that info. That email address is not registered to me. We have three sources on the story. That the nine... say they, that Eric the Midget is Romeo Blues? Yes. Three sources? Three sources. How would they know? People close to him. People who know. Hmm. That You say he's lying name, right now. Yes. Name him, Again. fucker. <laughs> he doesn't we don't name sources, sources buddy. <laughs> name him. <laughs> Did you say Red Rum? Your ass. Name them now, or what did you say? I will beat his Canadian ass. His Canadian ass. Ex Canadian. He does sound like that. You, you know, Could Eric. Could you say Red Rum? You, can you say Red Rum? No, I'm not doing that fucking movie. <laughs> you want to know why I'm not doing that fucking movie? Clear and simple. I came to you in December with two ideas. You shot them down, saying that they were unoriginal and plagiarized. And what would this movie be? Unoriginal. All right. All right. Fair enough. You can't say, what is it, Mrs. Uh, wait, can you say, wait, where's that? What's where, the tape? Where are those tapes? <laughs> Hold on. What page are those tapes on? Guys? I got him. Never mind. Here, can you say this? Listen. Tony, why don't you go to the hotel? I don't know. You do too know. No, come on, tell me. Don't want to. Man, creepy. Red Rock! Red Rock! Red Rock! Red Rock! Red Rock! Red rug. Red rug. Danny, what's the matter, honey? Red rug. You having a bad dream? Danny's not here, Mrs. Torrance. That does sound like you. You got to admit, right? Say Danny's not here. Could you say Danny's not here, Mrs. <laughs> Torrance? <laughs> no. Please. No. Come Where, on, hey, Dan one the, line. Dan the Song Parody Man put in a, 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 he made like a movie if Eric was in The Shining. Where is that, guys? You got to hear this, Eric. Yeah, give me two seconds now. Yeah, where is that? Good thing I remember this stuff. It's really good. Hey, do you have any story on the fact that Eric the Midget was two hours late to his meet and greet because he was at a strip Ooh. club? Did you hear anything like that? You did yeah, we, yesterday. we did the story yesterday. You did that? And in recent days, oh, okay. yes. <laughs> what happened there, Eric? It was one hour. It was not two. Oh, so you were late. <laughs> no. right. And where were you before that appearance? None of your fucking business. Well, as we reported and as we've confirmed, <laughs> you were at a strip club. <laughs> missing your own appearance. Nothing wrong with it. You're a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he shouldn't do that to his fans. Yeah. That's not right. That's he arrogant. He was scheduled to be at a meeting. How would you feel? He's going to be working for Howard. Get the fuck back to Canada. Uh, Eric, though, is that the fair thing to do to your fans? To be Imagine if you were waiting online for Diana DiGarmo. And she was at a strip club. And she was at a strip club for an hour while you're sitting there waiting. That's not right. you got to admit that. I don't have to admit anything. So according to you, Eric's code name is Romeo Blues on Stern Fan Network. It has been. Yes. And what does he do under that name? He talks tough, and he says he's from Texas, and he's seven feet oh, two really? inches tall. And uh, I don't know you could do a Texas accent. I can. I'm sure. But that's not me. That's Romeo Blues. So mm. it's... And how do you? And, and these people say they've seen Eric typing under the name Romeo Blues. I don't have that. Right. But I've got three people very close to this. Who when you confirm. say close, in other words... Well, I mean, I can go farther, but I don't want to reveal right. who who it is. So, Eric, you kind of been busted. Mm. 
<laughs> Romeo Blues. Romeo Blues. We're going to call him Romeo Blues. <laughs> Not until I hear the sources or I can, or say that I've been busted. Can't do that. But you I know you are Romeo Blues. You're admitting it. Right. No. I'm yes, not. you are. Shouldn't you matter. just said until well, you hear the sources, you should, won't admit. Yeah, it shouldn't matter who the sources are. It's either true or not true. If you're making a condition on it, that means it's true. It's not. It is true. No, it's not. Come on, Romeo Blues. Fess up. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. You're being a little asshole. Right. It's so great how you find out these things. That he's <laughs> Romeo great. Blues. Well, I mean, look. Uh, the fact is we have motivated fans who help us a lot. Uh, right. You all Steve does the answer phones. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> I'm kidding. I've seen you work, Steve. Come on. All right, here's Eric in if he was to do the movie The Shining. You ready? Right. Here we go. Red Rug. Red Rug. Kenny, what's the matter, hon? Red Rug. You having a bad dream? Fuck you. <laughs> Daddy? Fuck <laughs> you. I'm trying to fuck a chippy. Wake up. Push your cock in my asshole. You just had a bad dream. Shut the fuck up. Everything's okay. I saw cock better than anyone. Come on. Right now. No. Wake up. No, you arrogant piece of shit. Keep the fuck out of my life. Wake up. Bye for now, big nose bastard. There he is. He's, uh, if he was to be in The Shining. Unfortunately, we can't get him to recreate it here. No. Eric, you want to talk to Ralph? <laughs> Ralph, you there? No, this is Romeo. <laughs> oh, hello, Romeo Blues. I'm from Texas. <laughs> so you're not Eric? Seven feet er, tall. <laughs> you, know, you are one idiotic, rude asshole. Er, I heard the way you talked to the guy that won the lottery. Er, Who the fuck are you to talk to him like that? Er, Get a brain, you piece of shit. You won the loser lottery. Oh, oh yeah, that's, wow. come on. Come on. that's That's nice. That's that's nice. Dumb. Come on, say it once, Eric, and then I'll never bother you again. I won't. I won't call in ever again when you're on. If you just go, Brad Rom. No, not until that piece of shit from Canada gives his sources. I'll tell you what. If you I'm the source, Eric. If now, you say Red Rum. <laughs> Hold oh. it. The real Romeo Blues is on the phone right now. Oh, Hold it. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> Romeo Blues, is that you? Hey, what's going on, partner? This is Romeo Blues. So Eric is not Romeo Blues? No, no, me and Eric are buddies. He's telling the truth. Oh, okay. He's, yeah, I'm real. I'm seven foot tall, like he said. I, you know, Eric helps me out. He washes my balls while I'm standing up. <laughs> we go golfing. I use him as a golf ball when we go golfing. We're good buddies. All right, there you go, Eric. I guess you're proven right. What the fuck? Oh. Hey, it's your buddy Romeo, Eric. How you doing? I'm, I'm down here in Texas. I think Eric is Romeo Blues. <laughs> Me too. I know no, it. I'm not. Oh, stop it. Oh, just admit it. Who cares? No. Hey, Fred, what do you think? Will you swear on your mother's life that you're not really? Romeo Blues? <laughs> <laughs> I've gone down that road before. That's not going to happen again. What are you what saying? Swear on your mother's life you're not Romeo Blues. You'll have no problem doing that if you're not Romeo Blues. The, email, the account was started back in May. I hadn't gone to the stupid website till this past month. How's that possible? Have you ever posted on the Stern Fan Network under an alias? Yes or no? I have a perfectly good name that Mutt won't kill yet. So, you know... Why would I have to go to who an alias? How do you know when hmm. Romeo Blue's account was started? Hmm. Because he sent he sent me the post that I have to remade him. Why would I he do that? To show me that he did it. <laughs> have you ever posted under an alias on Stern Fan Network? No. 
On the life of your mother, you swear. I swear. Do you swear on the life of your mother? I'm not swearing on the life of your mother. Okay, all right. Ah, you lying little fuck. <laughs> I'm not lying, though. What is it, Gary? First of all, you should know we're looking up all of Romeo Blue's posts, and they're yeah. all wildly supportive of Eric, you should right. know. And I'm going to give you one right here. Tell me that this isn't written exactly the way Eric speaks. Let me see. Are you that fucking retard that you believe anything that is fucking said about someone, asshole? Drop dead, you pile of shit. Oh, my God. How many times a day do you say drop dead, you pile of shit, Eric? Mm. He says it to me three times a day. Mm. Yeah. I emailed. What we did was <laughs> he sent me the posts that were done by the other people. I'd email him my response. Back to those people. He oh, so you gave your notes on it? <laughs> All right. I got to move along, but thank you, Eric. I do have to go. Hey, Fred, what do you think the chances are he's not Romeo Blues? Zero <laughs> point zero. <laughs> <laughs> How many people do you think showed up to Eric's appearance? Zero point zero. Well, Eric, I don't know if you're Romeo Blues or not. If, you, if you're telling me you're not, then I guess I'll have to believe you. You tiny pile of shit. Yeah, nothing tiny on you except for your brain. And... All right. Well, Great. I, you know what? I just helped the troops. That's nice to say. All right, Eric, listen, I don't know if you're Romeo Blues or not, but Steve I Langford don't. says you are. I, I believe Langford. When in doubt, believe Langford. Right. Oh, yeah, right. All right, thanks, Eric. <laughs> Bye for now. He's an unreliable piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> really getting ugly. Well, you have your enemies out there. The fact is, whenever we nail a story, and we do it all the time, we're unreliable. All right. Uh, Eric the Midget, you're on the air in Sacramento, California. Good morning. Good morning. I was calling in because um, the fact that I'm sick and tired of hearing story after story. Uh, Eric the Midget, you're on the air in Sacramento, California. Good morning. Good morning. I was calling in. Because um, the fact that I'm sick and tired of hearing story after story after story about me done on the news by Langford. Red Rod! Stop listening! <laughs> well, I don't even have to listen, you stupid cackling bitch. Wow! Wow! Run. Well, Eric, uh, I would think you'd be complimented that Steve Langford takes an interest in you. He's an ass white. He can't get anything straight. Well, it sounded yesterday like he He did. himself's not even straight. <laughs> oh, come on. He uncovered something that so funny. Eric's been going on Stern Fan Network posing as someone named Romeo Blues. <laughs> right, or something like that. And, uh, you know, that's funny. And while you can't see the humor in it, that's wild. And the other thing was that he had a, a, a personal appearance where he got zero point, point zero, zero <laughs> people to show up. Zero point <laughs> zero. Red <laughs> Rod! <laughs> there would have been, uh, I talked to the, per, the uh, guy that works at Arco today. There would have been more people that would have been there, but the only thing is they made the mistake and ordered the tickets the wrong way. Zero <laughs> point <laughs> zero. Uh, Carter, you're on the air uh. with Eric. Yes, Carter. Carter's not there. All I know is Romeo Blue. I was thinking about it last night that Eric came up with this pseudonym, Romeo Blues. Mm. That is the funniest name ever. You know, isn't that what wasn't Lenny, Lenny Kravitz, Kravitz used to call uh, he used to record songs under that name, I think. Uh, oh, way, way, way back. Right. That was his original right. name, yeah. That's kind of brilliant. Eric, is that where you got I the name it. from? I borrowed the name from a friend in the JFSC that was not my name. 
All right, but technically it was you posting. I'm saying that is hysterical. Eric posted under the name Romeo. And Blues. why? What was he? What was the purpose of posting under another name? So that someone would defend Eric. <laughs> the Romeo Blues was Eric's biggest defender, oh. but it turned out Eric's biggest defender was it's Eric. Eric. <laughs> Man. Eric didn't want to go on and, first of all, let anyone know he's on Stern Fan Network. <laughs> it's because like he's he, angry at them or he's something. A, he's on a rival network. <laughs> so if, if he went on Stern Fan Network, that would admit that he reads it. And that he likes it. Right. So he went on and Romeo Blues was like, Eric's a great guy. Fuck you, you piece of shit. You know, he sounded just like Eric defending himself. And sure enough, Steve Langford did some investigative reporting and found out that Eric the Midget is indeed Romeo Blues. So where's the mess up? It sounds like he yeah. figured it out. And, and and also Steve uncovered the fact that Eric was late for his own appearance and 0, 0.0 people showed up. <laughs> zero point zero. Yeah, I, I like how he has three sources to the other story. Well, he was right. No, I found out it's one big fat ass horse, the head of SFN. Mutt. Mutt. Well, Mutt's big enough for three people. Hey, you took my joke. <laughs> yes, Steve, uh, Steve has claims he had three sources, not only just <laughs> mud, but whatever. And he doesn't, Eric doesn't know who, who right. Steve talked to. All right, All right Eric. Well, uh, I understand you don't like Steve Langford. I did receive some email about Eric the Midget, and people were upset that he comes off very anti Canadian. Oh, really? Eric the Midget. Because of the attacks at Steve. Steve is a Canadian, and it says this I used to be a fan of Eric the Midget. So, Eric, you turned off one of your fans. Uh, but lately, whenever Steve Langford gets involved in the conversation, it seems Eric became this kind of anti-Canadian bigot. Has Eric got something against Canadians? Uh, do you, Eric? No, just that jackass. And it, I'd have something against what, you know, I'd say, you know, if he came from Afghanistan, I'd say go back to Afghanistan or whatever. All right, Eric saying he has no anti-Canadian bias. It's Steve, not the country. He yeah, treats but... people as individuals. Yeah. When he's attacking Steve, though, he uses Canada as a battering ram. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, mm. Canada gets bashed in the process. Would you like to apologize to Canada? Sorry, Canada is such a pathetic idiot. All right, there you go. Thank you, Eric, and uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye. You have to point out that America has quite a few pathetic idiots, though, too. Yeah, you're one of them. Wow, you're on fire today, aren't you? Attack, attack. <laughs> Say red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. What, Eric, tell us about your day. What are you going to not be able to reach today? Everything. <laughs> Steve Langford and the Howard 100 News. Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 Newsroom. Eric the Midget Mania sweeping the nation. New websites devoted to our little Romeo Blues popping up every day. DailyMidget.com, UngratefulMidget.com, and MySpace.com slash Hate Eric the Midget. Evidence of the growing fascination with our vertically challenged piece of work who apparently would like people to believe he's a seven-foot Texan when most people love him just the way he is, especially when he's mad. You bet. All right. Good. Eric the Midget, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, by the way, I received a note yesterday from Jimmy Kimmel with regard to Eric the Midget. And Jimmy begs me on the real doll decision. He says, you've got to make Eric the Midget real doll. <laughs> you have to. He says, I'm begging you. He says, don't make me beg. He says, I wouldn't do anything. Would he come in he says, I'll and have sex it. It with it? Would Jimmy have sex with it? <laughs> now, I don't know. let's put it on the line. How much does he want the Eric real doll? He's not going to show his penis, I don't think. I think he's kind of hung like me. I get that vibe. Well, I know his takes a strange turn, doesn't it, or something? Yeah, well, he has like a weird hole in yeah. his penis that he had to have it operate. Like a on. whale, it spouts out the top. Red run! Yeah. Red run! <laughs> Eric, do you mind if we make a real doll? I mean, not that you have a choice, but we might make a real doll out of you. That's not going to happen. Anymore. Oh, no. It we could, could ha you don't have anything to do with it. You know it. what? We can get all his favorite hats. No, and some swap them out as he's getting fucked by somebody. You're going to have that San Francisco hat, that Oakland A's hat. Yeah, we're going to do that it. product hat that he wears I'm, when he's on there trying to push something. Jimmy wants it, and it seems like a good idea. 
Oh, yeah, the 49ers hat. He, that would look really good. Will it have that little scruff under his chin? Yeah, it'll look exactly like Eric. <laughs> will everything. Have, will it have the blotch? It'll have everything that you see on him. Oh. I'll get a little wheelchair. And, and some glasses. Yeah, the crooked glasses. And I can get a wheelchair for him. Yeah. Uh, that's the perfect thing for the real dog. And we can put that on Cam. But what are we going to do with him? Is like Richard going to have sex with him? Yes. Why not? You know. What do you think of that, Eric? As I'm trying to say, if you do it, you're going to face some fucking legal problems. Cause what I'm legal problems? I'm not going to allow you to do that. I'll go to court with you over that. You imagine the judge on that one? <laughs> we'll bring Eric in, the, stop in the wheelchair. Kids, you can make you can make a real doll out of anyone you want. Yeah, He's a what? public figure. Yeah. It doesn't even matter if it's a public figure. We're making a real doll, right. and we're putting his face on it. Plus, I'd love to go to court and tell a judge that, you know, <laughs> like bringing the real doll with Eric sitting there. Yeah, wheel it in. Yeah, Eric, we're not fucking you against your will. Right. Yeah. We're fucking a doll. We're fucking a doll, and we're calling it Eric the Midget. So and, and we're not selling it. We're just having fun with it. How are we harming you? How are we harming you? Not going to allow you to do that. I don't you need your permission. We don't need it. I don't need permission for that. Lord, please make it. I, there's three of us out here. We'll all fuck it. We, it. we have to make it now. <laughs> you need to send me your full measurements. He sent you a picture. Oh, yeah. Did you bring that stuff in, Artie? Yeah, Gary's got it. Oh, good. We'll need that for the real doll. <laughs> Artie brought in the stuff, Eric. So now I can use your pictures to create the real Eric the Midget real doll. Boy, can you imagine when we get that thing? Oh. Who are the three guys who want to have sex with it, Gary? Richard. Richard and Sal. Right. Me, Richard, and Sal. We'll all do it. And Gary, too? Wow. Fucking, you know what? I, I'm not gay, but I would fucking pull a train Sounds on you. like it, sucker. I pull a, we'll pull a train on you. Hey, Eric. I'm going to take the real doll, the Eric the Midget real doll, and fly it around with balloons. Yeah. And so finally, you'll sort of be flying with balloons. Yeah, so the SF in your hat stands for so fucked. Can you fuck the doll while he has the balloons on? Sure, you can do whatever you want. Wow. It's a doll. I'll do it with the balloons on. Hey, what do you want to say, Richard? I can't wait to, like, take the little claw hand on the Eric the Midget real doll and wrap it around my cock. You're going to let Eric give you a hand? Yeah, down. that's how it's going to start. That's the foreplay. <laughs> he can't do the, that hand, though, this guy, can he? I just want Eric sitting here every day. Yeah, not talking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> No, not talking, just getting fucked. <laughs> Isn't Eric flattered, though, that we want to fuck a real doll of him? <laughs> no, you fucking hick. <laughs> Come on, I'd be honored, Eric. Well, cause that's because you're gay. <laughs> Here's what Jimmy wrote me. I'll read it to you exactly. Uh, <laughs> please, please have them make an Eric the Midget real doll. They're small. Maybe they'll even throw it in for free. Please. Uh, then you mean I... they'll give us the woman and then throw air again? Yeah, they'll yeah. just use the leftover rubber from the Ronnie doll <laughs> to make Eric. You know the Actually, shit they leave over from Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ronnie, with Ronnie and Eric, you could probably still have enough for You know, Ronnie's not that big either. Right. <laughs> There's got to be something left over. Eric, admit on some level you're curious to see what it looks like. No. It's the same as like when these celebrities get the wax museum to make right. a... Madame Tussaud. Madame Tussaud's wax museum. I, I I can't imagine you're not flattered on some level. I, I'm not. This is no. an honor. We don't do this for anyone. We got one shot at a free real doll. Oh, well, use it on someone else. Let me check with um, Dominic to make sure Eric can't sue us over yeah. it. Okay, hold on. Dominic, hi. Absolutely no lawsuit. It's right. fast satire. If you made a million of them and sold them publicly, that would be different. But you can do anything you want. It's like my trying to sue all these things on YouTube. I can't do anything. Right. What, uh, Eric, what hair color do you want us to use? Would you send us your hair color, the, the exact hair color you use? I won't send you shit. <laughs> well, we already have his penis measurement. He said he's five inches. So oh, we have so we that. can make that perfect. Yeah. It's going to have a cock? Yeah. So of course it's going to have a cock. Are you going to blow it? <laughs> no, blow it? I'm not going to do anything you gay. Blow, Eric. You're not no. going to put it in your ass? No, You're I'm going to... fucking a gun. What do you mean? I'm going to fuck it, but if I blow it, that's gay. <laughs> uh. 
You're going to fuck Eric in the ass. Yeah. Wow. I, okay. bet he, I bet it'll be tight. Welcome to Kansas Logic. <laughs> and that's not gay. <laughs> no. No, he's the man. I'm the man. You're you're the you'll, woman. Right. you'll be gay in or you're real dollar. In certain cultures, that's considered macho. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rite of passage. C Cubans in particular. Exactly. <laughs> men can fuck other men. So, Dominic, in other words, I can't mass market these and sell them. That's no. that's no. Eric's thing. And okay. Eric, you know Wait. what? You might end up with a big business out of this. But you could you could um, take a uh, like a chihuahua and have it have sex with Eric. That would be legal. Yeah. Anything you want to satire the body. Wow. Wow. What, what about, could... uh, would Eric have a case if uh, it gets amazingly popular and we have to charge extra ad dollars in a segment where we're fucking the real doll? <laughs> no, that's, I think that's even legal also, by the way. I, I have a question for Dominic. What if we took an actual chihuahua, put an, put an Eric the Midget mask on it, and fucked the chihuahua? Illegal. Illegal? Nope. Well, we're legal. Fucking... Illegal. Illegal. Satire. Oh, good. That's I satire? You, you can fuck a dog? Right, thank you, Dominic. That's like satire. <laughs> thank you very much. There are satirical rules. As long as it's wearing uh, an Eric the Midget mask. <laughs> hey, Dorian, you're on the air in Washington, D.C. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey. Man, that, this, this whole, this whole uh, real doll concept is the funniest freaking concept ever, man. It's so daggone funny. Man, hey, I'm going to ask. If you if you make the Eric the Midget real doll, can the can fans come in and fuck him? Sure. Oh, absolutely. Ooh. I have to be Light tested. Up. You are going to get so much action, Eric. <laughs> We should have like a big, <laughs> we should have a big event like a giant stadium where fans get the Eric the oh, Midget oh, gang bang. Oh, yeah. that's, oh, that's gross. An Eric gang bang at the stadium. <laughs> Eric, this is starting cocking his little feet. <laughs> Eric, this is starting to take on a movement of its own. You can you can even throw in like the remember when uh remember when Scott, uh, Scott the engineer was gonna get fucked in the ass and oh. you like cover it with a sheet and just show a face or something like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what about getting a big black guy in there like that? What was the guy's name we were going to get for Scott? Lexington Steel. <laughs> Lexington Steel's not gay, though. <laughs> but he's now it's Eric. It wouldn't be. The right, that's though. true. <laughs> All right, thank you. Well, Eric, uh, maybe if you're lucky, and I do say lucky because it would bring you a lot of attention, I might make the real doll into you. Thinking about it. That gets Don't my vote. even do it. Oh, we got to do it. <laughs> just I'm because probably he says gonna that. Do it. Think about the millions of fans, and you've been chosen. Yeah, out of everyone. Yeah, it could have been High Pitch Eric. It's an honor. So well, High Pitch is gay, so it would work. He just fucking came on a whore's ass. Uh, Eric, really, what is your objection to it? I don't understand. you. It's not you being gay. It's just the real it's doll, a replica of you. I don't really understand your problem with it. I just think you're overreacting. No, I'm not overreacting. All right, articulate to me why you don't want this. Because it's stupid. It's not something that I ever want to see done. Uh -huh. Well, you don't have to watch it. That's true. But how could he not? <laughs> He'll watch it. <laughs> but I think there's far more people that want it. Howard. Hi. I was going to suggest Oprah or Imus, but you've got to make it Eric. <laughs> you've got to make it Eric. <laughs> the fans like it, Eric. I released those two sexual deviants fucking Sal and Richard on them. Let Do them you, go to town on them. So you like, I, I've read in the emails a lot of people were saying Imus, but you like the Eric the Midget real doll better. Yeah. I see. By popular demand, oh, Eric. I, was, I think that's the mandate. I was going for Oprah, but it's got to be uh, uh, Eric the uh, uh, Midget. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking loser. Get the fuck off the phone. Wow. Suck it, Eric. <laughs> Eric will be doing a lot of that. Oh, thank you, Alex. Suck it, Eric. Would you like me to squeal like a pig? <laughs> Plus, maybe they can use some cool technology like a Chia Pet where the goatee on the Eric doll can grow. Like, like we have to shave like his. Eric? Yeah. I don't think they can do that. We'll get a $200,000 real doll. <laughs> All right, here's the big question. If there is an Eric the Midget real doll in the studio, Robin, would you do anything with it? Would you I, at least, I'm not doing anything Would you with pose real holding doll. his penis? I would pose holding his penis. Yeah, right. I would, hold, I would if, do that. Would you, with your clothes on, would you put a strap on, on and have sex with oh. him? Oh. <laughs> I can't even imagine that. Would sex. you consider that? <laughs> that Eric, beautiful. would you like that? <laughs> Eric, that ain't gay, at least. <laughs> You could, you know. There would be heterosexual sex for a change. <laughs> <laughs>
What is it? Up, you stupid cackling bitch. Now I have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Harry, well, you, you don't know much about psychology, do you? You should have just said it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> what, um, where are these folks? Do you want me to open this package you uh, sent for me, Eric? Yeah, let's see what's uh, so important. Yes, there. please. All right. Uh, Gary, can you bring me the package, please? What Eric, is so important? Eric gave package? Artie a package when Artie was in San Francisco doing his stand-up, and uh, it took Artie about four days to locate it. <laughs> but uh, where'd you find it, Artie? Actually, he did a smart thing. It was in, like, a FedEx envelope-type thing, so it was I that see. size. It fit into my overnight bag, and I took it out when I got home, and it was underneath all the pizza and shit. I had to find it. <laughs> Gary, what is it in this envelope? Okay, there's really two things in here. The first thing is everyone that's in here right now got an autographed picture from Eric, and everyone got a personalized greeting. Like, for instance, mine says, you know, Dear Gary, um, you'll need a lifetime, lifetime supply of toothpaste and orbits. Oh. And, like, Robin, something about meat and vegetables, but everyone got their own picture. Uh, Eric, oh, how cute. Be honest with me. Did you come up with these things that you wrote on the picture, or did the people help you with it? No, oh, I came up with it. It's your own original idea. Yeah. All right, let me see these pictures of Eric. These are the 8 by 10s Yes. Wow. Well, that is a handsome picture of you. I love to see the ones he turned down. This would be good to give to the guy from the real doc because he's going to need a picture of Eric if he's going to really make this. Yeah, thing. we need that exact outfit. Yeah. Now, let's see. To Howard Stern, thank you for the six years of being on your show. I notice you print. You don't write script. Correct. Uh, from actor Eric the Midget Crossed Out Actor. Oh, is that? Yeah, that's that's okay. Also, thank you for letting me promote my store. Uh, and then he writes, first call, 919-02. You know what? The way he writes on a picture, it looks like it's graffitied. I like it. I like the picture very much. Suitable for framing. I'm going to frame this, Eric. Mine's already on my wall. Eric, I'm going to frame it. That's good. It's very nice. Yeah, it's weird, though. It's not Eric. It's saying thank you for something. To well, Fred, if you push that button one more time, I'll smash your fingers. Ack, ack, you jackass. <laughs> <laughs> From Eric the Midget Crossed Out Actor. Mm. To Robin, stop your damn cackling, you witch. Jesus. Put a veggie up your pussy and shut up. Ooh, wow. I have to tag, mm -hmm. do the strap-on thing now. You got a sexy one. <laughs> To Artie, ha ha, this year your Yankees are as bad as my A's. Wow, the Yankees aren't going to the playoffs from Eric. <laughs> and look at that picture. Boy, Eric, I tell you what, was this doctored in any way, this picture? There are no blotches on your face. Well, I have to say that, yeah, it was. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, you cleaned but, it up. What did they do, Photoshop it? Yeah, they also changed the microphone so there wouldn't be any problems because it before it said serious, so I figured if it's going to be sold, so I don't run into any problems. And no. Eric, you don't have any problem with the enormous Coca Cola can in front of you? The yeah, it's like Coke doesn't have any problem with yourself. <laughs> How many pictures are we talking about that you might have to reproduce? Well, so far I've sold somewhere between 200 or 300. And I was going to say, the guy looks very, very uh, handsome in this. I, I had a feeling, Robin, that this was doctored in some way. On your face, they got rid of all the blotches, yeah, right? Yeah, skin looks beautiful. Yeah. Did they do something with your skin? Yeah. They fixed, um, it was fixed up. Is there anything else I should know? Did they touch up anything else? No. Yeah, and I see your hair is recently dyed in this picture. It looks good. Well, uh... Now, Howard, there's another thing in the package. Yes. And this is, I believe, uh, a wedding gift that Eric oh. had sent to you, and it's inscribed. Ah. It's a book. A book? That was very nice, Eric. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jewish chess masters on stamps. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's see. What, what is this What is this book? Eric? I don't know. I just, but he, he, the first page, Howard, is inscribed. They find it, they found it in Eichmann's closet. When I... Jewish chess masters on stamps. Howard Stern, <laughs> congratulations on your wedding to Betho. Thank you for the six years of airtime. Uh, JFSC.TV. Eric, the midget actor, I hope you like this book. Uh, Jewish chess masters on stamps. And I'm not sure I understand what that means, but... I don't see any stamps. I don't know. <laughs> stamps are in the book. I, hear the well, I, guess it's Jew I guess it's exactly what it says, right? Yeah. 
All right, very good, Eric. Well, I, I don't know quite what to say. I know Beth's going to love this. <laughs> I'm glad you thought of both of us. Uh, this is very nice of you. Thank you. And uh, whether you see it as an honor or not, I happen to see it as an honor. I might. I'm really considering selecting you as the one person I will make a real doll out of. you got to think, Eric. The real doll stays here all the time. It's always in the studio. It'll always be on camera, and it'll probably boost your business quite a bit. But I don't know for sure. Right. And then if Nick Manning or someone comes in and fools around with oh. you, it'll add to your fame. It means your name was getting mentioned. Yeah. So you'd be very lucky if I select you. Do you see that at all? No, I don't. I don't see it as an honor at all. Wow. Well, it is an honor, and I'm just informing you of that. Do you really think I can hang a picture that says, what, stuff a vegetable in your pussy? Yeah. Oh, I can't hang that. Hang Eric. that in your uh, news booth. <laughs> you can put something over the line, pussy. Put it on the boat. <laughs> I'm hanging mine. Yeah, but he said nice things to you. I can't. No. I mean, that's... He calls you a witch and says to put vegetables in your pussy. Yeah, I can't hang that. That's not very nice, Eric. It's disgusting. Well, when, I, when is she ever really nice to me? Right. Well, that's not the sentiment of a gift, Excuse though. me? I thought it was nice to you until you got to be so mean. All right. Well, thank you, Eric, and uh, thank you for the gifts, and uh, good luck with your business. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Eric the Midget saying that he does not like the idea of an Eric the Midget real doll, which makes me even want it more. I was going to say, which makes it more intriguing. Yeah. Right. So uh, <laughs> I've got to make a final decision eventually. Red Ron! <laughs> Could they make the real doll say things? Red Ron! <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> that would be great. Eric the Midget, go ahead. I was calling in to do... I was going in to help that guy and defend him a little bit, but I guess you let him go. You know, I hope that you have um, karma come up and bite you in the ass for your comments yesterday. You are absolutely fucking ridiculous. What What did he say that you object to? I, aborting retarded kids? That's the same thing as what the guy was saying. Eric. Uh, every day in this country, people are told they're having a retarded child and they abort the child. That's this why is nothing. Amniocentesis. That's why they invented amniocentesis to avoid birth defects. You don't abort them just because of that. You well, you haven't adoption. raised any children. You don't know what it is. Put them up for adoption. Uh, I don't think people are yeah. adopting My, retarded yeah, children. Yeah, the, when you say, you know, you know, it's a funny thing, Eric. You're giving the argument that the religious right has. They say, you know, well, well, we'll take care of these children. We're gonna, they, none of these people ad adopt anybody. They don't even give money to help raise these children. They want these children born, and then these children are abandoned. You know, in a perfect television world, people have retarded kids, and then, oh, they raise them, and they raise them to be just like normal people. That's not what happens. That Most couples will divorce. Look at the statistics. They'll divorce over this child. The child gets no care. A lot of them are put in group homes or worse. And it's it's a great fantasy that people on the religious right have that somehow the church or someone's going to take care of these kids. Uh, we saw how good the church is at taking care of kids. There's tremendous child abuse. This is not a, a decision to be made lightly. Uh, if you want to have a retarded kid, great. But uh, this country needs to protect the right to abortion. And for the most part, people are doing the right thing. They can't handle these kids. Like, the kids have no shot in hell of having a decent life. And uh, it's the right thing to do. I don't listen. What can I tell you? Why do you think they invented this test? Because what people people want to know because they're excited? No, they get the result. Oh, yeah, they can get ready. They get an abortion. <laughs> that's what it's about. And you know, if you don't like the truth, that is the truth, and that's the America we live in. Now your turn. And, and I would do the same thing. If I, I, in fact, uh, well, I'm not going to my personal situations, but I would do the same thing. I want to hear Eric's defense. Yeah, it's your yeah. it's your turn now, stupid. Shut up, that fuck. <laughs> if my place. mom had listened to the doctors, I wouldn't have a brother. Because they said that if my mom had another son, that more than likely that son would come out to be like me, which he didn't. And if they listened to... Well, that's, a, that's your mom, and she's a very brave woman, and that's her, and she raised two children. She's a good woman. 
But uh, not everyone is like that. I, I I really hope that the group that came after, you know... Um, Do you think your mother would have had you had she known what your problems were? Yeah, I'm sure. We don't know that. He doesn't know that. I'm sure. I hope that people that picketed Tropic Thunder start to picket your ass. All right. Well, that's fine. I welcome any picket. Anybody who wants to picket me can. In fact, Eric, you can lead the picket. Listen, Eric, How well, that? we're not going to see a sign, though. It's going to be real low. Uh, listen, I don't think my mother would have had me. <laughs> what are you going to, uh, uh, Eric, what is it you're exactly picketing? The, my opinion that that uh, uh, that uh, amniocentesis is good and that people who make, the people in this country who go into the millions or thousands at least who have had abortions are wrong? That's what you're going to picket? What is there to picket? Well, I mean, I, I respect your right to pick it and pick it all you want, but what are you picketing exactly? That I'm being honest about this? That's why this test was invented, amniocentesis. I'm, I'm not going to go as far as, you know, the woman that's running for vice president would go, that nobody should have abortion and that, you know, in case of rape and all that, they still have abortions. I think they should because, you know, it's not... So when is it okay to abort, Eric? When no, is it, you're, you're, you're saying they could abort perfectly normal babies. So you're saying that you would have, you would abort babies. So what, what are you talking about? Double standard. Why? Why rape? The child? It's not the child's fault. Why rape? If you're going to use your argument. I mean, the people that say that I think are out of line. Well, so do we. So you. So I'll pick at you for saying that. You pick at me, I'll pick at you. <laughs> I can't believe you're saying that rape victims shouldn't have their children. You're disgusting. I think they should. <laughs> Imagine all the children who wouldn't be born. Everyone gets raped. Are you kidding? My poor mother was raped. And oh, and, and my, when she was raped and they had me, my, my mother was raped when we had the sister. My sister, my father took her. And then uh, when she was raped again with me, what, she should have gotten an abortion? How dare you? No way. I'm for abortion in all cases but rape. So I'm going to pick at you. <laughs> you're listening to the product of rape. Yeah. My dad's very proud of that. He wasn't going to get anything off my mother. <laughs> no. I'm making a joke here, Eric, but the point is, it's ridiculous, your stance. The reason amniocentesis was created in this country, the reason it exists, is to tell people whether or not they have a child with birth defects. And when the child has birth defects... They are aborted. And you don't think they should get to choose that if they had uh, sex willingly? That's what he thinks. Yeah. That's correct, Robin. And, That's then, and they want to pick at me because I don't agree with that. <laughs> but he can pick it. Pick it all you want. Well, I, you know, I haven't had a good pick it since uh, Selena died. <laughs> which, is another, which was another crazy thing because I came out and said I didn't like her music. Right. Well, that was insane. How dare they you? They forgot somebody <laughs> shot her. Yeah, th that was the person I was upset with, the woman who killed her. They let her skate. Yeah. All right. Listen, Eric, you're entitled to your opinion, and I, uh, I don't respect your opinion, but I certainly know you're entitled to it. Thank you. Who will you be voting for? Do you vote? Yeah. Well, Every time he goes, I think he's a kid. <laughs> I will be voting for um, Obama. All right. Well, he's for a woman's right to choose. Right. The official endorsement. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even know you. Look at I, all the celebrities Obama has on his side. I thought you were a McCain guy. <laughs> Are you speaking at the convention? What tipped your... Yeah, already. That was last week. I know. I'm sorry. A little off at the time. What was your off. major decision maker? Uh, did, was there a time you were on the fence? No, I mean, I've always wanted to have um, him win because you know, I'm tired of Republicans. Well, McCain is shorter than Obama. Was there ever a time, Eric, was deformed? someone literally put you on a fence? No, Eric uh, coming out for Obama. Another endorsement. Well, there you go. I was surprised. I thought he was a McCain guy. You know, I see him as a war hawk. Well, I'm Eric. glad he's doing it now because the Republican convention, you know, gives the candidate a bump. Here's right. some news to take McCain off the front page. That's right. I'll alert page six. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it's going to be a big story. Uh, Dr. Landafly is on the phone. <laughs> yes, Dr. Landafly. Good morning, Howard. Dr. Landafly. Yes. I'd like to uh, perform a late-term abortion on Eric Demidja, if that's possible. You want him aborted now? Yes, that's right. Eric, are you there? 
Oh, what the Get fuck close to the phone. Hold now. on one second now. Hold on, Eric. <laughs> Hop in the vacuum, Eric. Hop into the vacuum. Eric? He's not moving. <laughs> Get a fucking life. Oh, he's still there. Hold on. We start the vacuum. Your abortion backfired. Yeah, sometimes abortions don't work the first. Uh, Hop in the vacuum, you little fucking midget. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Landafly. Dr. Landafly, a new character, mm -hmm. Sal working. Dr. Sal Landafly. Yeah, I mean, that's a great like Martin Short. All right, Doctor, thank you. Hop in the fucking vacuum. <laughs> yeah, that's his catchphrase, hop in the vacuum. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Howard, Dr. Like, like, Landafly, the inventor of the retroactive abortion. Howard, like Lorne Michaels. Will you produce the Dr. Landafly movie? <laughs> yes, I have rights to that character. Right. It was created here on the show. Exactly. Oh, here, Eric. I think he's in the vacuum. Uh oh. No, I'm not. Oh, shit. Hop <laughs> in the fucking vacuum. Everyone cheers when he says it. Hop <laughs> in the vacuum, retard. All right, Doc. No, no wonder your wife hates you. You're retarded. Oh, stop. It. She's in the vacuum. Shut up. <laughs> you put your wife in the vacuum? Yeah, here she is. <laughs> Dr. Landafly's wife just went in the back. Oh. Dr. Landafly. See, too. abortions can be <laughs> <laughs> performed at any time. Thank you, Dr. Landafly. They can be performed on a 38 year old housewife who's miserable. <laughs> Johnny Frado, you're on the air. Go ahead, Johnny. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey, Howard, how you doing? All right. Howard, you got to hear the situation about the snake, which might go with what you're talking about, these abortions. You saw the pictures of Eric with the snake that day? Eric was at a, some some erotic something or other. and The strippers and hustlers ball. Yeah, so the strippers and hustlers ball. And, and, and every picture, <laughs> Eric's next to this big, giant python, and they wrap it around him and stuff. And, <laughs> and he looks Howard, Howard, yeah. Howard. And, and it's like a hot chick yeah, with a python. By the way, that photographer is a piece of shit. Why? Okay, well, all right. Well, it looks like he's good to me. No, so why is he a piece of shit, Eric? Because he completely did an underhanded, bunch of underhanded shit. He what? took closer. But Eric, I'm telling you, that photographer made my quite... hands without me knowing it. Took a close up of my hair, trying to probably look for gray hair, but oh, I beat him off at the or beat. Him as a past, you beat him off. Hair colored before. You say yeah. the photographer did something to you? What did he do wrong? He was trying to get pictures of his gray hair. And my fingers. Why? Yeah. What's the big deal about your fingers? Remember, they're all messed up because of my disability. Yeah, yeah, okay, Robin, that out. So but what? Listen, Eric, let me tell Howard the story, okay? I think crooked Howard. fingers are sexy. How this fucking, how this fucking snake, you talk about some weird fucking shit. They get the goddamn snake and they put it on his fucking wheelchair, right? Right. Now the snake is not looking at anybody. As a matter of fact, if you try to look at this snake in the face, it like kind of goes the other way. It doesn't want to look, look at people and it's very strong, you know what I mean? Right. I mean, yeah. You can barely move it, you know, like, he's real strong, and the fucking thing is huge. So they put it on the wheelchair, and, you know, Eric is touching it and everything. So Eric comes out of his wheelchair. They put him on the bed with the snake. The snake goes behind him, and Howard, I swear to fucking God, I swear on my fucking kids, the goddamn snake just changed in a moment. And hey, all of a sudden... He fucking, he, he, he kind of like, he's like rubbing across Eric's hand. Like he, he feels something that he never felt. Well, what, he, what, he what did the snake saw Eric as food? Eric's <laughs> oh, 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 Howard, there's absolutely no question in sure. my mind I, that I that see snake it. was saying, I'm eating this motherfucker. Right. I'm going to eat could have eaten him whole. I'm, I'm, oh. Shoes and all. Benji said he pictured Eric just like the snake taking a big shit and like a, a tuft of hair and glasses came out. The snake started to do like what a snake does. It got way up by his face. Yeah, and wrapped himself and, around him. Yeah, but it started to do like that dance, kind of like weaving back and forth, like looking at him and weaving back and forth. Sure. And Eric, at that point, he gets all comfortable. 
right? The chick's got the fucking snake. Some guy's got the fucking snake. Yeah, Eric, why would you trust some chick with a snake? And I mean, that's dangerous. He thinks the snake liked him. Yeah. Eric, you're how crazy. Did, how did you feel about the snake, Eric? I thought the snake liked me. I... He, he liked like I like a like a uh, I like a piece of salmon. <laughs> yeah, it was silly. No, no, he thinks he's like a dog. He he thought he made a friend. That motherfucker was going to eat him. I there know. No there's no he doubt. If you mind. saw the pictures, there it's amazing how big this snake is, and it's wrapped all around Eric. Right. And I don't like it. And I you know, and I just told you, I've been to strip clubs and stuff where the stripper has like a snake, or they have a special a specialty. And girls don't need that. It's it's obnoxious. It's just, we just want to see hot chicks at clubs. We don't care about their specialty. Yeah, absolutely not. That chick is way hot. She doesn't need fucking snake. Well, Howard, I'm telling you, the fucking snake saw something different in Eric than yeah. it saw in yeah. everybody else. So like, food. And poor Eric. He was weak or, or smaller or something. Uh, he, but he was rubbing across Eric's hand. You and know, poor Eric smaller. wants to be in with these hot chicks, so he's willing to like fuck around with the snake and everything. And I, I just think it's wrong. Well, all I know is this. Snake got about four feet from him. What'd you say, Eric? What'd you, what did you think it was doing? I, what thought, it was, I thought it was being friendly with me. Because friendly? He, Snakes he, aren't wait, friendly. Listen to this, Howard. No, I'm him. friendly with the pizza right before I pass. <laughs> tell him, tell him what you, why you thought it was being friendly. Well, see, what you guys don't see because of it being still picture is... I'm not shaking or anything like that at all. I'm sitting there as calm as could be because I know a thing or two about animal behavior. If you're as calm as can be and your heart rate is perfectly normal and everything, you don't show any sign of fear towards any type of animal, that animal will not attack you. When's the last time what, your heart rate so, was normal? Well, wait, hold on. What was the snake doing when you said why you thought that it was okay? Was, With his face. It was just looking at me and, and... What was it doing with his mouth? Oh, it was smiling. Yeah, <laughs> Snakes don't smile. It was licking its lips. <laughs> it's smiling. You said you're being calm. Your eyes look like Lou Costello when he saw the... Like a Frankenstein. You think, you think that snake was smiling? He thought the snake was smiling at him. All right, listen, I got to go, guys, anyway, but this is ridiculous. Well, Howard, we're going to send mm. video of this to you. Please so do. You can make your thing. We're getting it over to you immediately. Please, Johnny. Thank you. Eric, thank you. Got it. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Bye-bye, Johnny. Bye, Eric. Love those pictures Bye. with him. In the Love state. it. Yeah, uh, that's the greatest. <laughs> Johnny and Eric. Also today, the photographer who took those incredible stills of Erica Midget in the company of scores of strippers and a huge snake in Las Vegas. Scott Harrison telling Howard 100 News, Erica Midget was a joy to work with. Eric apparently telling Harrison he'd like to come to New York to be on the Stern Show, but doesn't want to be around certain staffers he can't stand, like this Howard 100 News report. Wow. All right. <laughs> what is it, Eric? Eric the Midget is back on the phone. Yeah. You had your time. You've been on all day today. Back and Good forth. morning. Good morning. Yes, what can I do for you? I want to know why Linkford gives time to that retarded idiot photographer that can't take a good photo worth his life. But yet, yesterday, James from the Arco Arena emails him about my... Um, we love the photos of you with the snake. I don't they know. They suck. What? They're beautiful. They're fabulous. They capture the, you. The photos that you are going to be getting from the photographer that was around Saturday night that Chris. The no, I want the had. I want the photos from the photographer that uh, took the pictures of you with the snake. That is terrific. The fire in your eyes. The photos that you're going to get from us are way fucking better. No. All right, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison right. on the website. Yeah. But I believe these are fabulous. It beautifully captures you. That guy's a fucking hack. Hack. Oh it's a fucking oh hack. All right. That really took some good your pizza. ass with a cupcake. All right, Eric, thank you. Hey, today's well, cupcake wait. Wednesday. Yeah. 
It was. Have, you been, right. have you been eating cupcakes? I had a cupcake. Yeah. You did. I only had oh. one though. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, Is that one. down? Seems well, like you're really enjoying it's your sobriety. It's down from five. Yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying my sobriety. <laughs> Eric the, Midget, Eric the Midget, you're on the show. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead, Eric the Midget. Good morning. I was Good morning. Trying, trying to get on the show for the last three days before this. I wondered where you were. He was on the computer. We just couldn't get to him. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was, did you catch the Frank TV episode last week? The what? Better question is, has Howard ever seen a Frank TV episode ever? What is a Frank TV? Frank Caliendo, who's on Mad TV for a while. And oh, he yeah. did the show. He was in here. I know who he is. He yeah, does Frank. amazing impressions. Frank. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, we had him on the show once. I didn't catch it, though. Why? Because he did an impression of you last week, and he brought me up in the middle of the impression. Oh, wow. Well, we'll have to track that down. Good, Eric. See? You're getting famous. Hey, J.D., how come we don't have tape of that? How come I need Eric to point that out to me? It's a major oversight. And we didn't take his call. See, now we're uh, behind him. Maybe, maybe it's because he's too busy hunt, hunting down that money. <laughs> J.D., that sounds like something I'd be interested in. It, I don't normally record Frank TV, so You're kidding. I, I have to find it. You can find it on YouTube, I think. Yeah, so d- d- take right. Eric's advice. Get it off YouTube. We should hear that. Uh, 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 okay, I'll try and find it. I don't know if they YouTube Frank TV all the time, so. What'd you say? I don't know if that Frank was an YouTube amazing. Frank TV all the time. I don't know you, Frank TV. Frank TV. Uh, Even uh, Frank okay, TV. okay took about ten hmm. syllables. Hey, JD, you actually merged the words YouTube, <laughs> Frank TV, and OK into one word. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's like, the first thing that you want. Like, oh, you're you too. Frank TV. YouTube TV. Yeah, do it, Fred. Uh, uh, Frank YouTube TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time you ever did that. He went, uh, 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 the, the JD language, like, like instead of saying okay, you'd have to go uh 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kalu, Klatu, guess, that's how slang starts, I guess, yeah. right? You get you like the Cockney yeah. dialect. Klatu, Baruta. <laughs> I, I, I come in from a day or so still. Or <laughs> Eric the Midget coming up with uh, something we should hear. Yeah. Okay. I know. Okay. I, I know. Nice. Frank, uh, Frank, you TV, you too. If Eric was working here, I would have had that. Well, 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 you know. Okay. Yep. Eric showed you up, dude. <laughs> Whoever pulls Eric's clips got it. <laughs> right. How did you learn of this clip, Eric? I was told about it before it aired last Tuesday. Oh. Before it aired. I think yeah, I had the two of you guys just talk on your before own. Before it aired on TV. <laughs> Why would I have anything to talk about with him? <laughs> no, it's just like between the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't, I, I don't know about them. <laughs> don't you want to know who gives him updates before they happen? Oh, I don't have the insiders, apparently, that he does, so sorry. Maybe you could share resources if you talk to him. Maybe you should have a conversation with Eric the Midget every day. Well, I told him to stop emailing me after he sent me a four-page email about this fucking Diane DeGarmo bullshit. Wow. That was not, and that was not stick, by the way. Oh, well, okay. He right. emailed you? Yeah, he, like I mean, you're his contact person. No, he emailed like me, Gary, Will, and whatever. And I, <laughs> you're on the you're in the I'm list. Oh, I'm on the list. I'm CC. <laughs> I'm CC. I know. I'm CC. I'm CC. I don't know. I'm the list. I'm Frank TV YouTube. Frank TV YouTube. Frank YouTube. Frank YouTube TV. CC. Uh, 
<laughs> Fatu Barada Nictu. Who else is on that CC? I don't know. <laughs> Harry, who do you CC on the show? Like who besides JD? Oh, Will, Jason, and Gary. So it's Will, Jason, Gary, and JD mostly on your CC. Uh, JD, go check your email. You have the link to it. Uh, thank you. So you sent him this information, Eric? Just yeah, now. Just now. Oh, no. just now. He sent him something about mm-hmm. Diane DeGarmo. He sent him bullshit before. I just wondered if he was still CCing him. Uh, I haven't gotten an email. Sorry. What did he send you about Diana DeGarmo? Oh, it was just the, that whole stupid list of demands about how he wants a, a blowjob from Natalie Maine or whatever. I don't remember. <laughs> it was just all that stupid Who bullshit. doesn't? Join the fucking club. <laughs> right. Or, no, he was demanding one. Oh, so. well, join the club. It's yeah. Natalie Maines, isn't Big it? Rock. Yeah, Eric was demanding a blowjob from Natalie Maines. Because Natalie, still, look. still looking for that apology. Yeah, keep looking. <laughs> so, in lieu of an, an apology, Eric decided it wasn't enough. He needed a blowjob from and, Natalie. And what Mays. else did he want to do to her? He What's a fucker to... in the ass and you yeah, humiliated? Yeah, yeah. Went to the fuck her so hard that what what was going to happen to her when you fucked her so hard? She was going to squeal like the pig that she looks like. Yeah. Oh, mm. how charming! You wish you could get a chick like her. <laughs> really? <laughs> you wish you could. Hey, could he really do anything that hard? No. No. <laughs> <Good break. laughs> he should fuck a real pig, though. He's, he's very brittle. I mean, yeah. can you shake his hand? <laughs> you, you'd actually probably get hurt in the scenario. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck you so hard, I'll break. Yeah. I'm going to fuck you so hard, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'll fuck you so hard, I'll implode. Uh, <laughs> uh, funny if he's fucking and he just explodes. <laughs> but, <laughs> Well, oh, God, I'd love to see that cartoon. Eric, that goes my nuts. Eric, you're to uh, I page. Ah, uh, Frank, you're to I page. Uh, <laughs> Can you hear Kevin Lawson drawing? CC. My page, you two. You two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you two, I page. You two. Diana DeGarmo bullshit. Well, Frank, Frank DeGarmo <laughs> fucking ass pig. Frank, 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 yeah, Eric. yeah, yeah. I don't write him. It's touching. You never wrote him back? No. Well, yeah, I told him to don't send me this. You wrote, stick. you wrote him this back. Tell him, you wrote him back telling him don't write me. Yeah. <laughs> but did you use the word stick in yes. your email? Yes. He wrote him back going, that. I'm never gonna write yeah, you. He didn't spell it correctly. Either. What did he write? Uh, okay. What did he spell? I can't remember. I deleted it. Exactly, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so I wow. remember it was misspelled. Okay. How do you spell stick? S C H T I C K. That's right. He spelled it right. Spelling bee champion, dude. Mm-hmm. You were the spelling bee champion. I was. Sixth grade. grade. Sixth grade. <laughs> Don't that mess with him about spelling, Eric. You, that was probably your best year of your life, sixth grade. I, I take very much pride in my spelling bee trophy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You won the spelling bee trophy. You were probably very popular. And then, like, seventh grade, I don't know, puberty oh, yeah. came and then everything yeah. just fell apart. Yes. Where is yeah. your spelling bee trophy? It's at my house. Let's Why don't it, you bring it to work? Come show it to us. Because <laughs> I don't know where to put it. It's Why don't you put shit. it in here? Just put it going? next to Beetlejuice's head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 12 years old, when I, that might have been my best year, too, because I was a great Little League player, and then it was, you know. All yeah, downhill from I me. had a girlfriend. It was awesome. You're kidding. Really? Yeah. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> like, sixth grade, you were happening. That's not fair. Wouldn't you trade that all in to be happening now? I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You, know you would. Yeah, because at 12, when you're happening, you're not getting laid. Puberty's a bitch. No. Yeah, if you look at me in the sixth grade, you mm-hmm. think, I could see how that kid could be really good. I was cute up until, like, fifth, sixth grade, and then puberty hit, and then I, my face got devastated. <laughs> like, just caved in. Puberty landed on your face? My nose, <laughs> my Adam's apple. Everything just <laughs> fucked up. It's like <laughs> a lunar landing. All of a sudden, I had to go out and buy a pair of sunglasses to hide my face. If I ever have a son, I'm going to tell him, in like about the fifth or sixth grade, watch out what girls you make fun of. Because you never know who's going to get fits one summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they held all the cards. <laughs> you know you are going to be a great dad. This is the kind of stuff he has to pass on. You know, you never know who's going to get tits. How far did you get with your sixth grade girlfriend? Did you kiss her? Already. Uh, did you kiss her? Shut up, Eric. Eric. Hold on, we're on the line of questioning. I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think I kissed her, no. 
Yeah. You didn't even kiss her? No, because it was like a short. Uh, no, it was nothing. It was, you know, it was like a couple of weeks. Yeah. How do you call that a girlfriend? It was, I don't know. It was sixth grade. Did she in know? Elementary school, you did know? Did she know you were her boyfriend? Yeah, well, I mean, we're, yeah, I guess. Yeah, he yeah. gave her his peach pit ring. <laughs> the one he carved out of that peach pit. So it was just a yeah. chick you walked home I, You know what? It, it's elementary school, dude. It's it, whatever it was. Uh, it's not that. It wasn't, you carry her books or something? No, uh, no, it wasn't. Really. <laughs> no, uh, you no. know, we talked on the phone and maybe uh, hung out a little I, bit. I stuck my roller in her ass. Talked <laughs> <laughs> on the phone. What is it, Art? I was just saying that with the way Artie's built this county, he needs to adopt a fifth, or sixth grader to be able to tell him anything. Because if he has a son, he's not going to make it that long. What did he say? I don't, I don't know. know. This is what I heard. The, right? the, the key in jokes is short. I can do an impression of that. <laughs> You're a regular exactly Mort Stroll. Yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> That's what I heard, too. Yeah, right. I think my hearing's gone. I think that was accurate. Right. Now, what did you say? <laughs> The way help going, uh, son. <laughs> Was he uh, actually breaking up, or is that the way he talks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he had syllables. There's nothing wrong with the phone. <laughs> I, I do hear something wrong with the connection today. I don't There's know. something wrong with the guy on the phone. <laughs> I think it's operator a, error. Sometimes Eric gets like so out of breath, like he, yeah. he can't like finish words. He gobbles up the words. <laughs> Me too. Well, you, you yeah, but eating. yours is usually at the end of the sentence, yeah. not at the beginning. You have an eating disorder. <laughs> you, you eat everything. I have a bleeding ulcer. Um, <laughs> all right. I got to start using less fattening words. <laughs> <clears throat> Before you let me go. See you later. My store is having a... Take care, Eric. Thanks, man. Store. The You're sure? I let Eric get his plug. <laughs> my here. store is having a two-for-one sale for the holidays until <laughs> next Thursday. You're sore? Store. <laughs> yeah, what, what, that picture of me and you, what's the holiday price on that douchebag? <laughs> the same price, but you just... Get two pictures for the price of one. <laughs> so it's not the same price. Right, it's, a, it's a two for one sale. You get two of those oh, pictures. It's a sale. So, so you're essentially getting one free. <laughs> what is the price of, the, of that? What picture? is the exact price of that picture? Well, there's it depends. There's the fifteen dollar one, the twenty two dollar one, and the forty seven. All right, let's say I go for forty seven. What do I get? You get the phone call and oh. the autograph personal or personally autographed photo. If I just want the picture of me and you at San Francisco at that time, well, how much is it? That twenty two ninety oh five for personal God. autograph. I hope With the people, personal autograph. I hope people don't think I'm getting a cut of that. That is that is mm. the douchiest. How big is the picture? <laughs> is it eight by ten? They're all eight by ten. I don't fucking do any smaller than 8 by 10. You used to. We corrected that. Yeah. You, were charging, you were charging plenty of dough for just a little tiny picture. Really? Calm down, Mickey Mantle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just really want to get straight. I'm not the douchebag ripping you off here. Uh, it's Eric. How many have you sold, if I may ask? Quite a few. I haven't given track. What? He hasn't, he hasn't keeping track. <laughs> it's, it's all on my computer. So would you say all, all the orders are still on my computer? So right. I have to go through them. What? All of the orders are on his computer. Twenty two twenty two ninety five. You get the autograph photo of him and Artie, eight by ten. If uh, you want the personal phone call from Eric with the uh, autograph photo, that's forty something dollars. <laughs> forty seven. I don't know how he comes up with these numbers. In this day and age, and it's not my autograph, it's Eric's. Right. Eric, how'd you figure forty seven? I don't know, it's just that that's all I came up with. That's, just sort of I don't know how I came up with it, I just did. You placed the value on it. You just thought, that's 47, that's the value. And there was a $15 <laughs> item, What what is that? That's the picture of you and Artie, but how do you get that for 15 That is just my simply my autograph on it without any personal 
thing to it. I see. Oh. Wait, so to add, hey, damn, <laughs> it's another 780? Yeah. If he personalizes it, it's another 780. That is correct. <laughs> what a little fucking evil empire douchebag. <laughs> Yeah, nothing little about you, fat boy. Yeah, well, guess what? Guess who you're fucking making yeah, money off of, you little too. prick? I I'm going to send my tiny little midget lawyer to get you. <laughs> you have a midget lawyer? <laughs> yeah, for midgets who are dicks, I want to sue. All right, Eric, thank Eric, you. Eric, go through your computer. I want to know what, uh, how much you're selling. Yeah, if you can get a number to us, we'd be interested in the Eric business. Before you do that, Eric, go over to your window, open it, and jump out. <laughs> and then I want you to CC it to not, J.D. Not much. Not much oh, look at that. My window. What did he say? I don't know. Not much. <laughs> he said rack up that window. <laughs> There's not much of a fall out my window. Nobody cares. <laughs> All right, Eric, thank you, and good luck with your business. That's uh, wh Where is your website again? JFSD.TV. Slash ETA. ETA, all right. All right. I'd oh, love no. to get into his business. That's not, a, that's not too complicated a website to get to. <laughs> well, you know, when you're getting ripped off, you ought to have to type in a lot of numbers. What's letters. ETA? Eric it's... the Actor. Oh, Eric the Actor. If I found out my kid spent $47 on something on his website, I'd throw the kid out of the house. <laughs> what if the kid earns his own money? You don't really have a right to throw him out of the house. As well as a lesson. I life. see. Right. Life lesson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So after you tell them to be nice to girls with small tits because they can grow big, <laughs> well, you, never you throw them out of the house for getting Be nice picture. to all the girls. <laughs> yeah, I'll say all the things. Your next I... book should be a parenting book. <laughs> That's true. You're Advice. on the right track. From Uncle Artie. Yeah, you should have had kids. I, I, I'm, I'm going to have a kid. No, you're too old. Oh, no, I want one. I already said <laughs> i got a couple of broads lined up. We'll have a kid for them. What I would have told the son I never had. Nice. All right, Eric, thank you. <laughs> J.D., <laughs> What? what? Eric the asshole. Oh. Eric the asshole. Okay. That's what ETA stands That's for? That's not my name. <laughs> Eric's not Eric your Eric the Bruce White. That's not my name. Oh, ETA is Eric the asshole. Right. Eric the Bruce White. <laughs> All right. Okay. You can have it that way. Don't you get tired of using old shit? Don't you get tired of using... Eric the annoying midget. <laughs> you tired of calling us every day? Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, we see that. And so we don't get tired of using the old shit. Yeah, we're all in the same boat. <laughs> What's the ETA stand for again? Eric the Annoying Midget. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eric sure? the Brutal. Oh, well, all right. We'll make up your mind. All right, Eric. Thank you. All right. Bye. Eric the Worthless Jack of Shit. <laughs> Take care, Stubby. All right, thanks, Eric. <laughs> bye bye. And you get on the uh, yeah, that computer. And... I, I'll check that link right now. All right. Oh, wow. Talk to Eric. Here in my butt, I want Steve Lankford talk. I want Honey Cow Finger. <laughs> I want Game of Beefix in my butt. How uh, uh, can uh, people think I don't like coming here? Uh, and I'll squeal like a oh, cake, 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 oh, shit in my mouth. I want to feel something big in my butt. <laughs> I do actually like a long cock. Push your cock in my boot hole. Please get me hot with all this cock now. I want to run a cow. <laughs> Where? That's incredible. Grandmaster Flash over there. Eric, had you heard that one? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's pretty that's good. good, isn't it? Mm. Nope. <laughs> We're selling that for $47. You should throw that in on the package. Really? Oh, yeah. You get that Get tape. a copy of In My Butt. <laughs> you get yeah. In My Butt, the, the pictures, and also... The of course the the fabulous phone call yes for a hundred dollars <laughs> seven dollars what a package would you ever package that song in no I would not I would give you permission mm. oh well that's a great item oh well come on you're quite the businessman <laughs> I got my it. butt will be a number one hit would you make a video to that song for us dancing to it <laughs> no I would not. <laughs> 
asking you or not. All right. I'll have to get the real doll. I like to see him act it all out. <laughs> In my butt, I want Steve Langford talk. I want Johnny Cow finger. I want Danny Duncan sex. In my butt. <laughs> uh, 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 fuck my butthole. And I'll squeal like I'll take, take, oh shit. In my mouth. Oh, I feel something big. In my butt. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh,
Well, no. She, she's saying things that you don't agree with, so her foot's in her mouth. That's ridiculous. Right. Eric, listen, uh, go and fuck yourself. <laughs> go somewhere right now other than where you are, and when you get there, fuck yourself, okay? <laughs> Eric, how bad are you jonesing for the bunny ranch? I'm possibly going to be up there on Monday or Sunday night and Monday night. Bring your wallet. I don't need the wallet, fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> Girls see him and they just spread. Who's Pardon. paying for this, mm. dude? Dennis Huff. Is he? No. Are you getting another freebie? Mm. Pretty sure of it. What two girls are going to... Uh, are you going to get new girls or are you going to go back to the same two? Uh, hopefully the same two, Haley and mm. Cherry. He's yeah. in love. Yeah, you know, Eric's like the guys who go to scores or Rick's uh, cabaret. Uh -huh. and they, Howard? And they fall in love and they get a Rick's wife, you know right. what I mean? Like, instead of sampling all the girls. Would that be considered a gift? In a sense, I would believe so, yeah. I hope he declares that in his income tax. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure he doesn't. Well, he should. Fuck you, Fred! <laughs> Being the honest midget that he is, I'm yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure I'm Eric doesn't even pay income tax because he's on disability. But certain things like that, I'm sure there's a value on that, on that service, and it's a gift, and... I believe, uh, according to the federal regulation, you're supposed to pay taxes. Federal regulation. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Do you file taxes, Eric? No, I don't. Oh. Trust me, they're not going after him. I don't think midgets have to pay taxes. <laughs> I don't think they're considered people. Is there a height <laughs> requirement? There's a height requirement for the yeah. tax code. I'm right. sure that there are little people that have pay taxes like the roll-offs and other people that have businesses no. and stuff like that. No, we just looked mm. on the internet. No. <laughs> they're not considered people. Wait That'd be minute. wild. So that's why they're exempt? Wait a minute. I thought your dumb ass doesn't know how to work the internet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I Wouldn't it be learned. amazing like, if the U.S. government just said, like, midgets are people and they don't have to yeah. pay taxes? I'm going to look that up on the internet. <laughs> I would love if someone Google said that about Italian. <laughs> like somewhere like Abraham Lincoln said, that, eh, they're like dogs. You know, like it turns out he was not he was not racist, but or he was anti, he was anti midget. <laughs> of course, uh, uh, midgets have to pay taxes. They're people; they pay taxes. Then how does he get away? Because with he's it? on disability; he doesn't have an income. Exactly, I don't have a tax. But don't you have to file something? No, well, what about selling my fucking picture? I don't believe that I have to pay taxes on that. I have. Uh, yeah, a lot of people didn't believe that. Capone didn't believe it. He I ended up in Alcatraz. Until they take him to jail for mm. tax fraud. Yeah, see? He's a midget. Al a Capone. Midget. <laughs> what the hell are they doing? I'm little Capone. <laughs> <laughs> Little Scarface. Hey, was it your birthday the other day? What? What's that? I heard it was your birthday the other day. Happy birthday. No, no, no. No? March 11th. Oh. I, what I said when I called in this morning was on Sunday I went back to the same strip oh. I went to on my birthday. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whatever, man. Well, you know, you got to realize his birthday is important because his life expectancy was only a few years. Right. Uh, March 11th is your birthday? Yes. <laughs> your parents refer to that as 311, I bet. <laughs> 311. <laughs> yeah, that's your waist size. That's your height, dickhead. <laughs> <guy. laughs> All right, Eric, I'm, I'm going to take you off the phone and let you go relax, okay? All right. Thank you. S see if your cock can uh, reach your ass. Bye. Fuck yourself. Bye, bye for now. You haven't seen yours in I don't know how long. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? Bring your wallet because it's gonna you're gonna it's gonna cost you something over there. Believe me. All right. Thank you, boys. So. I'll be hopefully calling you guys from there. On no, we can't some, fucking wait. Those two mornings. It's Abbott and Costello uh, between Artie and uh, Eric the Midget. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think we. Which one was the fat one? That would be Artie. No, so it's Faggot and Costello. <laughs> All right, Eric. Thank you. Good luck at the Bunny Ranch. All right. And okay. try mixing it up. Try not to be with Cherry and the other one. Try to get Haley. some new... Haley. Try to get some new girls. Right. Some girls who haven't had sex with a 400-pound black guy recently. All right. Thank you. Has he talked to them? They're supposed to, you know... Are you talking to them? Friends. Yes, I talked to him. How did you get a hold of him? You just call over to the Bunny Ranch? 
No, I have their cell numbers. Wow. Oh, my God. I Poor girl. Text, text them back and forth. Every day. Are they usually oh. crying when you call them? <laughs> no. Is the sideways smile like not? Is, it's weeping. <laughs> Are they showering for over an hour and a half? Sideways frown. <laughs> Are they crumpled in their shower with the with the water just running over them for an hour and a half? No, I. In fact, I get in text messages. I get. I miss you a lot. I got the chills. Oh, I can't do it anymore. I was in high school for a while. Damn, it's hard for me to fucking imagine. <laughs> I did well for a while. Oh, that was fun. The was money's fun. not enough. That was horrible midget is in my life. Should have gone to occupational therapy school. And the midget is coming back. I feel dirty. I should, I should, I want a waitress at the diner now. I don't want to do it anymore. What's next to horse? Can I just do dog fucking porn? I mean, oh, a horse. That is my fucking horse. It was like a midget and a horse. <laughs> that is some poor Al Qaeda. Help me, help me. The midget is horrible. Oh, Jesus, if you could hear me, take me out of this life. I have night terrors. <laughs> I pray for the sweet release of death. <laughs> then it's told me I have to pretend to love the horse. Oh, oh. the dark night of the soul. The horse has my cell number. <laughs> <laughs> The horse texts me. <laughs> when are you going up there? Hopefully it's Sunday afternoon, and they'll be there till Tuesday. Wouldn't it be funny if it was a ghost town when he got there? He'll <laughs> be there till Tuesday. What do you hear, like that car pulling yeah. up from the Munsters? <laughs> it's like all the trailers. All the shit Eric shows up in the cars. Are, everybody pulling. <laughs> He's almost here, fellas. Hit it. It's like a sign out front. Gone out of business. The trailer's empty. <laughs> Let's hit Barstow. <laughs> you stay. Yeah, what, what do you mean? You're gonna be there for five days? <laughs> Where do you stay when you oh go there? Oh my God! You cannot count, fat boy. Do you do you stay? You, the, you stay two days, right? Two nights. Yes. And where do you sleep? Do you sleep at the Bunny Ranch? They have the these bungalows at the Bunny Ranch that. Are open for guests. Oh, so you can sleep over. Right. Yeah. They're called jizz sponges. They, and then you stay over there, and then the, and then when you want a, a girl, you walk over to the uh, bungalows, the other bungalows. Right. Yeah. Do the girls ever come to your room at your bungalow and they just sleep there for the night? They didn't the last time I was there, but. Yeah, are you crazy? I guess, <laughs> I guess they are allowed to because one of the night clerks asked. You know, my roommate, if Haley was staying the night in the room with me. Yeah. Isn't it weird that your girlfriend isn't allowed to spend the night with you? You had a roommate? Yeah. Oh, well, my God. What was that, what was that guy's deal? <laughs> Did he get laid? It's the one that's with me all the time here. Did you get laid? Did, did he or did I? Did he? No. Oh, oh what shit. a nightmare that must be. I mean, he had to stay there while you got laid? He doesn't throw him a crumb? Well, he was going there. He did go into a couple rooms with a couple girls, but nothing ever <laughs> happened with it. No. Oh, probably didn't have any dough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. right. He, he can't get... Right. He doesn't have access to a radio show. Mm -hmm. But it's got to be heaven for him that he's not dealing with you for a little while. Right. They're keeping you right. busy. Yeah, at least he gets a break from Eric. I true. saw this kid. He's with him all the time. He's just a way to him around. She ought to write a book, that kid. Yeah. yeah. That's a tough life. Well, I don't know if you met him, but he ought to read a book, actually. Living with a <laughs> tyrannical midget. Well, Eric, it sounds like you're in for some fun. Yeah, hopefully. Eric, call us if your name is mentioned in another unwatchable sketch. Okay. Be sure to call Any, us. Anything you're on is unwatchable. I'm on the Howard Stern show. All right, let me ask you something, Eric. Last question, then I got to go. I'm going to give you a Sophie's choice. Mm -hmm. You're on a boat. The boat starts to sink. Ooh. Cherry and Haley are on Ooh. the boat with you. There's only time to save one girl. Who do you save, Cherry or Haley? Oh man. I know it's tough, but go ahead. Who do you love more? Who do you throw off? 
Why do you have to put me on the spot like this? I know it's tough, but come on. Who do you save, Cherry or Haley? First answer, come on. <laughs> uh, I guess I have to say Haley because she was the one I was with first. All right, so you love Haley more than Cherry. Right. And that's the only reason I'll give you is because I was with her first. All right. And the next time they get upset with him, I'm sure it'll be Natalie Maines' fault. Well, let's be honest. <laughs> Those two girls would throw Eric right off the boat. Yeah, they, would, they, would, they would never get to that's that. Right. He'd they, be shark He's chum. not choosing anybody. And then they'd eat each other out until they were rescued. They're throwing him and that wheelchair right in. The, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they go, hey. yeah, if there's something weighing down the, the boat, it's the wheelchair. Cherry, what do you think? Eric's got to make a choice. Here's the choice. Eric's going. Yeah. Uh, I can see him and Cherry. Like, I'd go see that. I would. Get to work, Eric. You, you got a what? hit, a blockbuster on your hands. I think I'm going to write that for Howard TV. I'm already writing something. What are you, what writing? Are you writing? Eric's I, choice? I hope you're writing me a check. <laughs> no, it's a 38-page script. I have only 38 pages of it so far, but it's... Which eyelashes are Robin wearing in the script? <laughs> None. I haven't. It's the story is based. Uh -oh. We'll see you later, man. All right, we got to go. Take care. You a made bit it on up. reality. Nobody cares. A bit on reality and a bit on fiction, and about the whole thing with myself and going to the bunny ranch. <laughs> man, man. Hey, don't be doing that. Is it a guys. children's book? Like Dougie the Puggy? Dougie All the I know Puggy is gets a blowjob. In a pitch meeting, they'd have thrown him out the window already. Okay, oh, here's, no, the, no. here's the pitch. This, this is far from a kid's story. <laughs> That's you going out the window. That's the head of Sony you throwing think, you out the window. You you think him guy, out the window. Do you think a guy who writes uh, children's stories should be going to a prostitute? Really? Yeah. Really? Aren't you a bad influence yeah, on kids? Dr. Seuss got golden showers. Yeah, well, kids get confused by her. They think he's another yeah. kid, and then they see him in bed with whores. Right. How about Dougie the John? <laughs> you, you guys come up in the story later. Nobody oh, cares. Why don't you call the story Ambient, because it's putting me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's already got a title. What is it? You want, you want to hear it or not? No. Yeah, what is it? It's kind of, corn, it's kind of a corny pun. Yeah. You hooked my heart. Ah, I like that. I got to admit, I like that. That's like <laughs> See, he went to the. You see, Eric made the classic mistake. He went to the bunny ranch and he fell in love with his two whores. Why don't you call? <laughs> why don't you call the script Clay Aiken because it sucks cock? Oh. <laughs> no, it does not. Well, I wish you luck with this. Yeah, me too. I'm writing. As, I'm going to write Eric's choice, using Robin's title there. I'm going to. I'm going to write it up for you and see if we can't make something of that. Okay? And maybe we'll get those two uh, hookers in there. I'll have them take place on a boat. We'll... Yeah, because yours is some kind of fantastical right. love story, and that's ridiculous. And since we can't afford Celine Dion's song, because it's our TV, I'll, I'll get a song that almost sounds like that song. <laughs> yeah. We'll get hyper to sing it. Right. Be like, close, but not that far, <laughs> wherever you are. We'll change it around just enough. It's Kelly Clark. <laughs> we'll get Kelly. I would really prefer that name never coming up on air again. Kendra? Why is that? I can't stand her. Kendra? What happened there? She, she just blew it. She just never called me, never text messaged me, just kind of dropped off. Hmm. That's not right. What do you think that was? That's not nice. I don't know. She's not a whore. You guys were right when you thought that, you know, what you thought about her last year. Well, look. Why don't you ever listen to us? Yeah, listen to us. Believe me, we'll we'll steer you right. And why are, why would you think we're wrong about these two broads at the bunny ranch? Well, listen, I just don't want you falling in love with them. I don't mind that you go out and bang a couple of whores. But don't uh, don't fall in love. All right? Right. Protect yourself emotionally. All right, Eric, listen, i got to run. Thanks for the update. I like Kendra Goliath's cock. All right, thank you. What do you want in life anyway? You want to get married? You want to have a steady girl? What do you want? 
Yeah, I definitely would like that. All right, well. Well, these remember girls... that one time he was having that contest. He was going to lock the girl in his house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened to the kidnapping plan? Yeah, what happened to that modeling agency? That you were going to kidnap the girl and make her live with you for a year. That was part of her contract. Right. That was the best. <laughs> Eric's starting modeling agency. And, part of, and, and one of the things that she has to sign is that she has to move in with Eric for over like three year period. <laughs> didn't, you have a, didn't you have a basement with a pit all decorated? <laughs> <laughs> No, there's no basement to this little house. Where was the girl going to live when she lived with you? The apartment nearby. No, you said she you could be in your house. You wanted in the right. apartment. In the house. That was, there was two things to it, either an apartment nearby or, you know, here. Yeah. But there was, well, where were you going to put her in your house? In your bedroom? It actually had to be an apartment nearby because... All three of the bedrooms here are taken. Oh, Eric, you know what the plan was. The plan was if she was with you every day, she'd eventually fall in love with you. And move into your bedroom. No. Yeah. You don't have money for an apartment for a girl. The plan was he was going to... I know what was going on. Yeah. I had a feeling he was really looking for a girlfriend. Right, absolutely. You know, I don't think he was interested in repping her uh, modeling career. <laughs> Yeah, we're, and in the early months, where are we going to keep her tied up and guarded? <laughs> Until she fell in love. All right, Eric, good luck at the Bunny Ranch. Don't fall in love, just have a good time. Well, uh, you know, Howard, right. that, that's great advice, but sometimes the heart wants what the heart wants. Mm, yeah. And he's going to fall in love no matter what. And try some new girls out, too. Don't get, go, don't get in a rut with those two. Supposedly, according to Rich, there are quite a few others that want to, you know, be with me. Oh, jeez. Who wouldn't? Yeah, they might as well spread the joy around. <laughs> There's quite a few others who want to pay their crystal meth dealer. <laughs> those, girls, those girls have done enough is what they're saying. All right, Eric. Good luck. Time for somebody else. And have fun hey. with the girls. Who's on Eric the Midget Detail? <laughs> you know, just because you're a junkie, do not mean that they are. That's well, right. That's true. Uh, I, don't, I don't get paid to blow guys. All right. Thanks, Eric. Take care. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. All right, so does anybody want me to... Oh, all right, before I get to Eric the Midget, and you didn't hear what I said about him, that Eric the Midget held a secret press conference. Is this and, another press conference? Yeah, this is a new one. It's Why would you have a secret press conference? I don't know. What, what is, <laughs> J.D., what does he mean, secret press conference? Is J.D. will explain. By the way, whole idea of a press conference to be public? When did the, when did the press conference happen, by the way? Uh, I, get, I got an email about... 2.20, 2.30 a.m. this morning. <laughs> Apparently, he was holding a secret mandatory press conference on the JFSC. At 2.30 in the morning? Well, it was like 10, 11 o'clock his time. So. All right. Uh, what do you mean mandatory? I don't know. That's just what I was told. It was secret and mandatory. He's a dictator in that JFSC. You mean, like, if you want to be in his website you have to make sure you're there if you don't if you're not there you're out you don't show up to this meeting you don't come back exactly. if you want to be uh, in the know how many members do you think are in his group i don't know hmm. and what was the purpose of the press conference uh, same old same old no, no. i'm gonna get to that in a second <laughs> the midget had an emergency meeting he called an emergency meeting uh jd got an email at I believe it was 2.30 in the morning. Yes, I wonder how the press conference leaked to J.D., because I'm sure he didn't want J.D. to know about it. So here's uh, Eric the Midget, for those of you who aren't hooked into his website. So he started with an opening statement, and then I guess he takes questions All right. from his fans. And since Eric doesn't call into the show anymore, this is the only way we can hear him. <laughs> Hello, room. Welcome to the press conference um, the reason why 
I ask for this is because of the fact that we here at the JFSC are kind of under siege by this during world. He's using Gestapo like tactics to uh, to invade my private life and my also undermine my personal life life as well. And who knew we had a life? Where you guys cannot you know trust anyone, not your family, not your coworkers, and maybe not even each other. Also, um, you know, he's using his lackey, Steve Lankford, to do, you know, yellow journalism and chop up interviews that Johnny gives, my, I give, and other members of our us, JFSC give to him. And this guy is like the father of eyes and the father of chopping up interviews. Right. I've heard some of the interviews he's done with the other people that are against us. And to me, they sound like a lot longer than the interviews he's done with us JFSCers. I also sent three people his way. And as far as I know, Lankford has not contacted a single one of them back <laughs> to give any kind of interview at all. And these were three people that were friends of mine that agreed to call the tip line and leave a message. I know Johnny would back me up on what I'm saying right now, but he's taken his ambient pill, so he is out. No. So, I guess we are at the point now of taking questions. Wow. Man, his ambient pill. He's giving everybody Johnny's medical condition. Right. He's on an ambient pill, so he's out. What do you think of uh, Eric's opening statement that wow. he is the victim of a conspiracy and Gestapo-like tactics? Who's Gestapo-like tactics, though? I don't know. I think he thinks I... <laughs> Somehow I'm after him. I think he's the greatest performer in history of radio. If he was accusing you of being the Gestapo. I think he's accusing Steve Langford, but he's put, been well, put up to it by me. Yes, you're the you're in charge. Really. By the way, I have no idea what Steve Langford's ever up to. And you're using your minion. Right. Do you <laughs> want to hear some you're questions? Lackey. Do you enjoy listening to this or do you want to Absolutely. hear some questions? Absolutely. I'm right. fascinated and I hope one of the questions was have you heard from Kendra? Oh, I can answer that. He has it. Ah. Yeah. I don't know what the people are asking if you're going to be back on CERN or whatever, but I don't know if anything's changed with that, has it? No, not as far as I'm concerned. So the answer to that would be no. Eric, you're not blaming Stern, you're blaming the news team, or what's the deal here? Yeah, it's the news team. It's all on the news team's head. But given, you know, I, I just want to know, you know, he puts his own name on the news team. That, to me, should say that he should have some semblance of control over what they do because they're representing his name. All right, and you feel that... All right. Go ahead. And you, Go ahead. Sorry, you feel that because Steve will basically take fucking random nutcases from the Internet or whatever that the people here, that we all need to not trust people and keep our mouths shut and not talk to anybody about stuff. Correct. Wow. So you can't talk to anybody. If you're in the JFSC, you can't talk to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm glad Eric has a website. And he has you friends. can't even talk to yourself. <clears throat> well, he did have a life up until, you know, he said he was where he wanted to be. He had a girlfriend. He had the JFSC with lots of friends. He had his broadcast. So his life was perking along pretty well. But I don't know why Kendra's not talking to him. Yeah. 
And it all goes away, Eric. Crumbles. Broads are fickle. They fucking What is leave. the news department saying about him that he objects to? I don't even know. Well, they listen to Patrick, the evil Patrick. And Patrick says what? That that that, that it was all a goof. That uh, yeah, that uh, the whole thing was set up, and that Eric. Let's see. Here, Eric addresses uh, whether or not he'll consider legal action against the news team. <laughs> here, Eric says he wants to. He wants to talk to me one on one. Oh, let me let me hear that. What are your current feelings towards Stern himself? Well. Stern himself, I'd like to be able to have, you know, like a nice one-on-one -on -one conversation with him, you know, off there whenever he gets the opportunity to, you know, explain my side of this whole situation. Imagine that meeting. And, you know, <laughs> he was from day one of me mentioning anything about Kendra. He was always concerned about her hurting me, her, you know, doing whatever to me. And what his news team did made it where, you know, they beat her to that. Because because of them, you know, I'm not hurt by her. I'm hurt by them. Hey, Eric. And oh. she's Go ahead, sorry. What's up? She's, you know... Eric, you're putting everyone to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not hurt by Kendra. He's right. hurt by the news team. Well, but if she loved him, could they chase her no, away? of course not. What? Because we don't believe that she's really into him? So what? So what does that Prove got to do with it? Prove us wrong. Go after your man. I think I was right. I feel bad for Eric. I it's do. terrible, and you said it. He was, he was headed for a fall. Let's see. A uh, number of people kicked out of the room. Evidently, Eric kicks a lot of people out of the JFSC. That's my favorite part. All right, let me let me ask this question so you can yell at this guy because I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, have you figured out you were being used and Howard was right? <laughs> I think somebody's getting booted. <sighs> yes, boot him. <laughs> Who are his bouncers? Yeah, and just FYI, Eric's got a three-day total of, like, I don't know, 273 or 275 kicks. We're trying to keep better count of it. What does that mean? Eric's kicked out 275 people in three really? days. Really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I guess they just re-sign up, and they're a different man. <laughs> he keeps kicking them out. That's great. I think it's the same five guys. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, Eric. You want to let him know? Tell these motherfuckers who the boss is in here. <laughs> I'm the boss. That's right. Eric doesn't even know those guys are playing him. This is the eighth time I've had to boot my cunt. <laughs> he thinks he really is in charge of something. The Midget Secret Press Conference. What, what does this one say? Weird technical difficulty. Oh, I always like that. <laughs> Eric, are you mad at Johnny for not following orders and calling into the Stern Show last Thursday? Well, it was really not in orders. Not sorry. When I made this statement that I made the other day, I was wondering that I knew Johnny wasn't calling in anymore. I was based that on the human phone conversation. Error. 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 That's one wicked fraud. <laughs> so they were asking him about John calling in? How come there's never any <laughs> technical difficulties on any of the co-hosts? <laughs> Except for Eric. It's always Eric. And Eric's the star of the show. I don't like that. <laughs> well, anyway, there's some of the secret press conference. But he was responding to Johnny calling into the show. Yeah. Johnny was great, by the yeah, way. Yeah, Johnny was morning. funny. As oh, my goodness. I listened to the playback of that. It was great. It was the best. Yeah. Johnny calling his kid a little motherfucker. Best call 
he's ever made. I'm really thinking he doesn't know the kid's name. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pitch Eric. You're on the air. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Listen, that father room is a bunch of scumbags. I got booted out of there three times. <laughs> okay. I have my own room. Okay. How do you have a room? Can you write? I can write. You want to see me in there? Yeah. I'll give you the website. It's H I followed by pitch, P I T C H, high pitch, social circle dot com. Okay, I'm on my camera right now if you want to see me. I don't have my shirt on, just so you know. Okay? You're on camera right now? And you're not wearing a shirt? No. If you go with me, you can see me. You're fully no, topless. No. <laughs> yeah. You see my hairy chest? Uh, hold it. We'll, we'll try and pull it up real Your quick. Your beautiful hairy chest? Yes. Hold on. I, I pull I less people out of my room than Eric's room. You but you're throwing out people, too. Well, not, not... Why do you throw people out? Because they bash, they bash me and they bash other people in here. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you want them to do? <laughs> What, what else do you do with that? Wanting to room? behave. Yeah. Well, isn't it fun to just bash people? No, no not me, not the VIPs. Uh, no. What do they say to you, Eric? <laughs> it's the only room in America where he's a VIP. <laughs> You're a VIP? You don't mess with the VIPs. What do they say to you? Well, they call me all sorts of names from the book, you know, like I'm a douchebag, I'm a scumbag. <laughs> and then you get upset and you boot him out? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if someone writes, hey, I pitch Eric, you're a douchebag, you'll, you'll boot him off this website? No, not, well, that's not really hurtful words, but if it's, uh, if it's, if it's really hurtful, then I'll, I ban him. Eric, what, where, are you in your bedroom right now? No. Hey, guys, we can't pull that up? I'm kind of curious. It's, you... high, it's high pitch. SocialCircle.com. <laughs> HighPitchSocialCircle.com. So you're not on the Johnny Frado Social Club? No, because they banned my name like two or three times after I went on Star Fan Network, and they, they said I bashed Johnny, which was not true. You never bashed Johnny? No, because he promised me something, and I told the truth. That the thing that he promised me, I never got. Well, I don't know. For some reason, we're not on there because the TV guys would have had it. Oh, out. I wanted to see. Yeah. Benji's got it. It's just him in front of a white. Oh, there, there it is. There I am. <laughs> so disgusting. He's so funny because hair grows right around. It doesn't stop. Yeah, like cause he has hair on his shoulders, on his neck, and everything. And then it just like stops. a necklace. Yeah, and then it stops. It's just weird. He's grotesque. He's grotesque. He's what, well. What, like, what is immediately to your left? Like, what's in that apartment? Yeah, what, spin the camera around. What institution are you sitting in? Looks like he's like, you know, you ever see those Al-Qaeda tapes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Howard, listen, I have beautiful girls that come into this room at night. Turn the things to, like, to the left and the right, like Artie said. Okay, hold on. Let me take my camera off my computer. He has a computer. Flowers. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh -huh. birthday cake. Wh whose room is that? Is that your apartment? No, I'm in my friend's house. Oh, my oh. God. Who is your friend? Your friend has a nice house. That's a birthday cake from last night. Was it your birthday? No, my friend's birthday. I had about three pieces of cake. How much a dog to fill? Oh, yeah, he is. Yes, but you are. Who lets you in their home? You're yeah. shitting out the cake, and where are you doing? Like, I don't know. You, you're not You're not clean. Oh, what do you mean, Artie? You're not clean. Well, so we're both not clean. <laughs> where's, well, that, where's your dog? Um, I have a friend take care of my dog. Let me see your penis. <laughs> uh, no, you don't want to see Let's see. Stop it. No, I can't do that. Where's you've, your dog? You've seen it before. You've been up before. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the girl on my website right now. There's a beautiful girl on my site. No, all right, Eric. Thank you. Well, listen. I want to say the Johnny Father room are a bunch of scumbags. They're users. And if Eric wants to come in my room, I will let him in my room. Uh, that's very nice of you. Uh, All right, Eric Joey, has an open invitation. Joey Boots wants to say something. Go ahead, Joey. Hey, Howard, check this out. For like the last couple of weeks, all during work hours, 
Eric has either been on SFN or up in Connecticut with this girl. He's not working anymore. He totally lost his job, and I guarantee you he's not paying his rent again. Uh -huh. He's doing the same shit over again. Mm. No, Are you not, doing that, true. Eric? That's not Eric, true. it's work right now. Why are you at work, Eric? Well, it's for me to know you to find out. Yeah, because you keep saying you're taking days off. You lost your fucking job. You're a liar. You're doing it. I guess you did. You're lying. You did it. Eric, did you lose your job? Nope. Are you, say, I swear to God on my mother's life, I didn't lose my job. I swear to God on my mother's life, I didn't lose my job. He don't care. He don't care if his mother drops dead. He hates her. Yeah, but when we call the job, we will get you? He's up in Connecticut right now. I'll come home tonight. Yeah, so what is his job? Go back to work, Eric. He's what? working construction, remember? No. Hey, yeah, he works Monday through Joey, Friday. Joey, why are you not at work? <laughs> I am working right now. I'm posted on SFN. Oh. No. There you go. All right, thank you. Uh, Eric, yeah. Eric, you're a fucking liar and you're a leech. No, you and you're gonna, and, you, and again, and again, you're going to rip off your landlord. Oh, by the way, you know something? You know, you know who always is right back here, that girl, Dina. What did she say? <laughs> you love this, don't you? I do. All right, Irish John, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Hey, Eric, what's going on with your job? He's, got, he's so tied up in this computer war that I think he doesn't go to work anymore. <laughs> Is that true? No. I mean, Eric, I, I let you stay with me. You know, I taught you about going to work every day, and you were good, and you were doing great. Now you're throwing her all away, going back on this computer, getting involved with these girls. you got to stop doing this, bro. No, hold on. I'll, I'll tell you something. The reason, listen, plans change at the house. So when plans change, the architects and the builders have to get together and have to get the new plans uh, set up for the house. <laughs> Eric, I work for a construction company, New York Equipment. We've never been busier than now. It's beautiful out. All right. our equipment's out. You're the only one in construction not working. <laughs> house framing. It's the same thing. We have house framers that come in every day. Yeah, it's nice weather. According to Eric, there's only one house being built. I mean, I could see if it was raining, snowing, anything like that. It's 60 degrees out. It's like summertime, and you're on your computer uh, topless on a webcam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, making the, I'm making headers. And he's throwing people out. <laughs> Eric, call your boss and go back to work. Get off your yeah, computer. Eric, get to work and get off the computer, okay? Yeah, at, least, at least it's not a Johnny Friday room. All right, mm. thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, Howard. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I have to enjoy wool. Wow. Look, I mean, he's got like a setup there, a phone. The technology is it embracing. Looks great. Okay. Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 Newsroom. Eric the Midget's favorite news team, all over Kendra's alleged ex-boyfriend like stink on the Bush White House. A patron of the Phoenix Strip Joint where Kendra dances. Telling Howard 100 News this sexy pseudo sweetheart talks nonstop about being on the Howard Stern show, but never mentions Eric the Midget, the patron of the dance club. Well, maybe she's Howard. trying to protect the relationship. And in all fairness to Eric, the patron of the or dance maybe club. Maybe she just likes being on the show. Right. Well, there you go. Right. The patron of the dance club telling Howard 100 News Kendra has alluded to her reported romance with a little guy in a wheelchair being nothing more than a publicity stunt. Oh. Meantime. Okay, listen, you, you got it. You know, I know Eric doesn't like you to say that, but if you hear that, you have to report it. Johnny Frodo trying to explain his way out of some strange remarks about his pint sized protege. Johnny comparing Eric the Midget's first meeting with Johnny's son to the scene in E.T. <laughs> when the kid sees the little alien for the first time. Johnny telling Howard 100 News. Wow. He wasn't calling Eric E.T., simply that his son had never seen a handicapped person before, so Eric was very alien to him. <laughs> now that right. we got that straightened out, E.T.M., phone home. Uh, by the way, that's how I interpreted it. Uh, Johnny doesn't need to explain that. Go ahead. He never saw this little fucker. He's <laughs> <laughs> like fucking E.T. over here. <laughs> this little... He, the little fucker uh, gets into the bed every time I'm going to fuck. It's yeah. like he's got a goddamn radar. I love how, not... how he told his son that if he was bad, he'd wind up like Eric, that Eric was yeah. really yeah. bad. I told my little fucking son, I little said, hey, fucker. when you're bad, you're going to end up like Eric. I'm out here. He's in the fucking bed with her. <laughs>
way, somebody sent me pictures of Eric. The, I see he's on the phone. Eric the Midget was in, where was he? In Vegas? San Francisco. San Francisco. He, he was at some strip club. Somebody sent me like 500 pictures of, literally 500 pictures <laughs> of Eric the Midget in this club. And it looks so weird. It was like Eric is sitting there next to this hot chick. And she's got a boa constrictor, a real live snake boa constrictor, the kind that like catches their prey and squeezes them right, to death. Right. So the boa constrictor is on Eric the Midget's lap. <laughs> they probably and eat things bigger than Eric. That's my point. Like even yeah. Benji wrote, yeah. you know, and he goes, "All I can picture is the boa constrictor squeezing Eric, <laughs> and like, all, and shitting out like a tuft of hair and those glasses." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that would be the only they thing could left. swallow like a rat. They could swallow yeah. Eric whole. And, he, and he's the size of a rat. <laughs> I think, and, and you know, I got to tell you something. Hey, hey, Eric, how you doing? Hello. Hi. For starters. It wasn't San Francisco. Where was it? Was it was Las Vegas. That's uh, where we thought you were going. It was a strip club. It was an arena. Oh. I... Don't you guys get any shit right? We don't care about you, Eric. I understand? <laughs> was it you, Eric? Right. Eric, there's nothing to get right. right. We, you're lucky we even acknowledge you. We don't care that you're in... You know what I mean? I mean, I can't believe you think that like that's something we should get right. The only thing I know is this was the trip you were saying you didn't want to go on. It sounds like you had a good time. Yes, I did have a very good time. Were you nervous holding that snake? Oh. No. And it's not a boa, it's a python. A python, even worse. You guys, can you get any shit right? Uh, what do we know about snakes? You, you just I, saw a snake in your lap. And you yeah, know really? what, I was thinking about it. Like, I, you know, me, I'm an expert on strip clubs. Hot chicks who have gimmicks. Like, you ever go to a strip club and you see, like, a hot chick and she's the one who can do weird things on the pole? Like, she can, like... Right, she's the acrobat Yeah, you know, she can pole. do gymnastics and stuff. And these girls don't realize guys don't give a shit. I remember the fire dancers and right. the sword swallowing Yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> girls with gimmicks. And then you even have hot girls who feel they have to walk around with a snake. Yeah. You're a hot girl. You don't need a fucking yeah, snake. You don't need yeah, anything else. Nobody cares about your snake. Yeah. Nobody wants to hang out with a snake. We want to be near In fact, you. the snake is a turnoff. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's such a turn. You just go, oh, she, you know, like, what I like about strippers is I pretend they're normal. Again, again, you need to be corrected. She's not a stripper. All right. She's not. I, I'm talking in general, though. Right. We're not even talking girls. to you. We're I'm talking, not talking to about, ourselves. I'm talking about hot girls with gimmicks. Was she a she's hot girl? An ero- she's an erotic magician. Yeah. Okay. Again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Is she a hot chick? Yes. Okay. She doesn't need to be an erotic magician. She doesn't need to be erotic anything. She just needs to be a hot chick, is what I'm saying. Like, the gimmick is so unnecessary. I'm just telling hot chicks out there, you don't need a gimmick to separate yourself because out from the Because you'll go to the girl with no gimmick before you go with the girl with the snake. Yeah. Let me tell you about hot chicks. Here's what I like to fantasize, especially when I go to a strip club. I like to go, and I like to go, hmm, this girl's normal. She got into stripping because she was sort of, like, desperate for some money, but she's very normal. And, you know, I don't want to see snakes. I don't want to see magic. I don't want to see her just turn herself upside down on a pole. You want to pretend she's into you. Yeah, just put that. That's the trick. <laughs> that's the gimmick. That's the gimmick. <laughs> pretend you're into me. Pretend you like me. Yeah, that's pretend what... you're not disgusted by me. Let's see how good you are at acting. <laughs> you know, a hot gimmick with her reading a book would be a hot gimmick. You know, I mean, it would be, it, it, it's just not necessary. Well, and the snake is covering what we want to see mostly. Right. Yeah, you know. yeah. I, I want to look at you, not a snake. Yeah. I felt so bad for Eric with that snake in his lap. And... Yeah, because now he's got to yeah. be with the snake to yeah. eat her. Yeah, yeah the gimmick uh, that she likes Eric is enough of a gimmick. <laughs> there he is. There's Eric with the snake. Look at the size <laughs> of that thing. Look at his eyes. <laughs> and it's wrapped around him. Oh my and look at the eyes he's <laughs> making. <laughs> Eric, you look petrified. <laughs> Not petrified. I don't mind... Those snakes at all. Eric, do you see your eyes in this picture we're looking at him? Yeah, but look, maybe. Oh, he looks bewildered. Do your waistline, fat boy. Well, yeah. People look at it yeah. that way, too. Are your eyes always that wide open? <laughs> yeah, is it... No. What's why are your eyes so wide open around the snake, then? Because he's got a snake! I, I mean. mean... <laughs> These pictures are terrific. <laughs> I love them. The girl in the back looks. I... They Don't... were sent in by a listener. Gary, see if you can get permission to. Uh... <laughs> Publish these. The one where he's looking down at the snake is there's like no If the guys can find it, there's one picture where the snake is actually facing Eric's face, face to face. Yeah. yeah. It looks like he's ready to shit his pants. 
The snake or Eric? Shut the fuck up, Frank. Stop lying and saying you had no problem with this. Eric, you don't look like you're relaxed. Yeah, compare that to the picture where you're surrounded by all the strippers with the big smile plastered on. Yeah, there it is, Fred. Did I call it a one? Did you ever see? You ever see those videos where they feed a rat to a snake? Like, does this look that much different? He looks like a little white lab mouse. That is fucking hilarious. Oh my goodness. With the what kind of shirt is that you're wearing? Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> hey Eric, what do you have around? Thank you, thing. Eric, what do you think? Yeah, that's what I'm talking Eric, about. what's that around your neck? Are those like charm bracelets or something? Oh, they're chains. My, they're my gold chains that I was wearing. No, what are Mr. T? Yeah, and what are, are you wearing gold chains? But like, what is attached to the gold chains? Like little jewelry of some kind. Yeah, what's yes. that medallion? Yeah, what, what is that? Just different things that I purchased. <laughs> That's my Italian horn. <laughs> my class ring is on there. Yeah. Cool, cool look. Wow. <laughs> it's really working for you. Look at this one. Look at his eyes. I mean, oh, it's extraordinary. One where he looks relaxed. Yeah, Eric, you look like your eyes are going to pop out of your head. Is it because of the glasses? The, the, you have thick glasses on. No, no, no. It's, he's scared to death. Looks like he's looking through an aquarium or something. <laughs> hey, Robin. <laughs> I heard you're back with Mr. X. Why don't you go find him and shove his cock in your mouth and shut the fuck up? Oh, well, I'm not back with Mr. Well, X. I'll tell you, really. Don't spread rumors like that. Hey, why don't you shove his cock in your mouth and shut the fuck up? Shut up! Shut up! I like what he thinks the point is. <laughs> Why did I just shove you in my mouth? I heard you back with Mr. X. Why did you get him out there? Shut up. 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 Shut your fucking hat! <laughs> Beautiful snake. I love when Eric gets mad. <laughs> when I tell I slide, fuck, tell me fuck. <laughs> oh, look at all the things on his chain. The different things that I purchased. Look at the chains he's got. Like he's got that eye thing. But you know what's weird? Eric's got these chains he wears. What the fuck is this? But the it? chains are like almost as big as his entire body. Right. They are. And so, like, and he's got, like, major things hanging off the chains. There's a big, giant that? eyeball. <laughs> What's the eyeball signify, Art? That's a Catholic, a Catholic God's eye. A God's eye? Huh? So that's I've the eye of God. I've never heard of such a thing. That's the eye of God right there. <laughs> Again, you need to be good. Why do you wear a God's eye? I mean, clearly you have to be a little pissed off at God for creating it. Yeah, really. And you took God's eye to the strip club or the strip arena, whatever mm -hmm. it is. It's a pr thing for protection. Yeah, you need it. It's protection. It's supposed to wa watch over you. What's the thing next to it? That big, giant, lumpy piece of gold, and then there's one that a shield that says ninety-four. That that's my class ring, and then next to it, the shield that you saw is something that my school had called a class key. Oh, yeah, that's your class key. You must have really been, I guess high school was your peak. Yeah, you really love high school. You yeah. had the class ring. And Me too. Yeah. What, what's under the God's eye? Now, what's that big gold thing? That, I think, is the San Francisco Barry Bonds thing, a uh, pendant I have. Oh. And was it a giant cross? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a cross, too. Very religious. God's eye, big giant cross. Class ring. You know how some guys their best years for high school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, Eric. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know. But he's taking all that protective God cross stuff to look at girls' tits. I wish I was still in high school. I wish your titties were in my face. <laughs> Thank you. I wish Sean wants to say hi to us with, uh, um, of course, uh, Eric the Midget on the phone. Irish John, go ahead. Hey, Howard, got a question for you. If Eric the Midget died and his family put his bones up for sale, would you buy them and yes. how much would you pay? I would put them in the studio in formaldehyde. That's an excellent question. His pleasure. bones. Yeah. It would be great if you could collect all the Whack Packers bones after they die. No, I, 
Eric would be like Elephant Man. Yeah, uh, we'd want Beetlejuice and Eric, I think. That'd yeah, be I'd want Beetlejuice's head <laughs> and Eric's entire body in formaldehyde. <laughs> Eric, you could specify in your will that you would put your body in formaldehyde. And will it be and, you? And, and leave it in our studio as a, and that you would be on TV the rest of your years. Right. Immortal. Immortal, in a sense. Would you ever consider that? Fuck no. Why? Think about I. You know what, Eric? I agreed to that. I. I, yeah, I already said we could take him on tour. Yeah, exactly. I did. It'll be so much easier to handle. I'll be. De I'll be dead and stuff. The largest jar for you. <laughs> <laughs> Put that right in the Howard Stern Museum. People and I promise you, miles around. Yeah, and I promise you, I would only put Eric the actor on the plaque, not Eric the midget. I don't care. It's not going to happen. Why? Because you're a bunch of assholes. That's oh, why. if we were nice, you'd let us do it? <laughs> well, if we promise to, I don't know. All right, if we promise to be nice to you, will you sign over your body? Will you will your body to this show so that we can put you in formaldehyde in a jar? No. We'll keep. We'll call you Eric the actor forever. Yeah. Now. We will never call you Eric the midget again if you will your body to us. Don't worry, Johnny Frodo will find a way to sell you those bones. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think it's funny. The only reason he won't let us put him in formaldehyde is because we're assholes. <laughs> Make a trade. What do you want now in life that would allow us to have your body in death? Nothing at all. What if I could get you laid? <laughs> what if it's with that? What's the girl's name he loves? Brittany somebody? Okay. If I could get you a blowjob from this Brittany girl. Brandy. 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 Brandy Talor. Yeah, Brandy, Brandy Talor. <sighs> Would you will your body to me, Howard Stern? Nope. Zero point zero chance of that. Oh, we got All you right. to say it. <laughs> Zero <laughs> point zero. <laughs> All right. Eric also looked like he was having a miserable time at this thing. There's all pictures on Stern Fan Network, all those pictures you're talking about. Well, of course. They're carrying he... him up on top of stage. He looks, he looks like he's so miserable. Well, of course he's miserable because he wants to get a girl. And no one, he doesn't like want a... to just look at them. Yeah, but you know, I mean, and like now he's busy with snakes and big just giant pythons. Him. Yeah, just to keep the girl interested in him, and then he can't even get laid. I mean, I feel bad for the dude. You know, you you know absolutely fucking nothing, Irish John. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck off the phone. Ah, fuck I was you, Mitch. Get the fuck up. Miserable at all there. Oh, you look so happy when, especially when they're uh, carrying you up on stage. <laughs> What'd you do on stage, Eric? I was a judge for the stripper contest. No. Oh. It was Johnny, myself, and few other people that were there. That so, I mean, were. you spent a whole day surrounded by hot, naked chicks. You're in a judge. Uh, you have to be corrected there again. Unfortunately, due to the Clark County laws, clothes couldn't come off. Okay. So, what, are they in bathing suits? Yeah. All right. So, you spend the whole day around all hot, sexy women in bathing suits. And then I'm sure you wanted one of them to go back with you, right? Well, uh, a few of them were actually flirting with me. Heather Chadwell, um, Akira Lane, both of them were flirting with me. And I also got to meet Sunset Thomas and Bobby Ballard. Weren't they flirting with you because you were a judge? They weren't. They weren't the contestants. Yeah, but they just got mentioned on the air. They were the fellow judges. Oh. And one was the co-host. Did you go home and beat off? Uh, no. Liar. You spent the whole day around hot chicks who were flirting with you and in bikinis, and you didn't beat off. It was a two-day event. All right, okay. You didn't beat off the entire two days. You didn't do it in the hotel? No, I did not. You didn't rub into the sheets? Nope. What about when you got home? Nope. You didn't fuck your bed? <laughs> You're lying. He's lying. He's, he's lying. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. want to tell. How many yeah. people were at this event? There was a count of 1,500 the first night, and I do not know what the second night count was. How much money did you take in? How much you make? Not saying that. <laughs> Fred, you have a number on it? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> zero point zero. <laughs> 
Ralph, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, now. Oh, did I lose Eric? Oh, no. no. Oh, no, Eric's there. Okay. Hey, Howard, can you see in that picture uh, with all that jewelry? Is, is one of the things he's wearing like a little ring around a uh, necklace? Yeah. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, you're slow. I already said it to my class ring, you berry faced idiot. Hey, Ralph, I told the story how you vomited in my house. Oh, he is, right. Wait, he is like Gollum. <laughs> hey, Ralph, Gollum. I told the whole story when you vomited in my house. My, my luck, he would have died in my house. He would have choked on his own vomit like Jimi Hendrix. I had a head injury. I oh, a head injury. <laughs> what happened when you went to the hospital? They didn't even look at you. You almost died from a head injury. Shut the fuck up. Wow. What? Eric what? has no sympathy. Shut up, Gollum. Man. Gollum? At least, he come, at least he doesn't shit all over people's house. I think, well, he, he, I, think he, house. I think you shit the bed, too. There were brown stains. I didn't shit the bed. All right. Someone in the room wants to know, Ralph, did you cut a hole in your Iron Man standee and butt fuck it? <laughs> no, it only goes, it's only waist high. Someone in the I room. I just shoved my cock in his mouth like that guy did to you the other night. <laughs> what guy? Eric, you didn't tell me you took a cock in the mouth. Oh, yeah, the guy smacked him all over his face with the guy with that big 10-inch cock that Eric likes to lick. What? What? You are a fucking retard. Get Eric. the fuck off the Eric, phone. come on. I'm in the room and people are telling me about it. What? <laughs> they want to know. All right, Ralph. Leave Eric alone. <laughs> yeah, Ralph, you got you your know. own problems. Yeah, you got problems of your own. <laughs> You're taking it to a much darker place. Wait, wait. <laughs> All right, thank you. Dude, you know, what you're, you're real unsympathetic. Why do you have such a low opinion of me? Oh, my God. My opinion of you now. I mean, I realize. Zero points. He's, a, he's, Zero. A, he's really just a low life. Oh. He's just a low life. That too. Then I go and look up for my dog in his room. He's naked, and I see his asshole. <laughs> Did you know that Howard walked in? Yeah, no. He was unconscious then, too. And, he, and, he, and like, put on some Why pajamas. Why are you naked? Put his, put his shorts on. Oh, so disgusting. Oh. <laughs> Although strangely attractive. <laughs> was my door closed? He, you, he was first to get in my room. He was ass up waiting yeah. to be taken. Like Floyd says, there's no such thing as an accident. You should have put my cock right in your ass and taught you a lesson. <laughs> What's it, Eric? You were ass up waiting for your boyfriend. Look <laughs> 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 at Eric getting involved. Uh, how did you vomit and not wake up? Because I was blacked out. I don't remember it. No. Uh, go ahead, um, uh, Scotty. Scotty in Orlando. Hey, Howard. Hey. Hey, picture in uh, Eric the Midget in this getup that you're describing with the Hawaiian shirt and the Mr. T chains and stuff. Have you ever thought about having him be a ring bearer at your wedding? <laughs> Did you, like, carry out that little pillow with yes. a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pillow with a 70s tuxedo with the ruffly shirt. His chair <laughs> that is a funny aisle. idea. And those shoes that curl up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or maybe float down in balloons. By the way, him, I was thinking about this. You know how Eric won't float with balloons because right. it's too dangerous? Yeah. Well, sitting there with a python on your lap is way more dangerous than flying with balloons. Was that his main concern with the balloons? Like, yeah, it, it was dangerous. dangerous. He dangerous. was afraid of getting hurt. Oh, you pussy. Yeah, and meanwhile... I mean, the only reason he's sitting there with a python in his lap is because there's a hot chick in That's right. All I got to do is get a hot chick with balloons, and this kid's flying. No. Oh, sure you will. Yeah, you would. You'll do anything for hot chicks. Oh, yeah. By the way, I wanted to ask, do you think you asked me if I um, jacked off in the hotel? Do you think Ralph probably jacked off in... Your house? Yeah, probably. I mean, he vomited all over it. Why wouldn't he jack oh, off? I'm sure he's done that many times. I know I did. No, I do think that, Eric, actually. <laughs> I'd rather have Richard Christie at my house. Oh, no, don't even say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I By the way, I'm a little bit too busy in the month of October. Oh, really? You're not uh, available? Right. For the wedding. He can't be yeah, ringing. I hear. He's, he's booked up. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't know you were busy. <laughs> I'm fucking busy. <laughs> All right, Eric, I got to go. Well, see, the other thing that Johnny and I did besides go to the Hustler or the Strippers and Hustler Ball, we, uh, after the first night, went to the strip club, the Bada Bing, and had a lot of fun at the strip club with the girls up on the upper level of the strip club. All right. 
You were the hustler at the stripper and hustlers ball? He was at the hustlers ball. <laughs> the strippers are the hustlers, so he must have been a hustler. He was one of the hustlers, yeah. <laughs> All right. Time for us to hustle out of here. Thank you, Eric. All right. Hey. Eric the Midget, everyone, from the JFSC. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, my, um, my Eric... See you Dad, later, man. My Eric Dak All right, buddy. ...open today... Or is open today. Take care, Eric. Thanks for calling. <laughs> right. Thanks, bro. TV. And next call. <laughs> yep, see you later. Great. Uh huh. Right? Later on, man. All right. Thank you, Eric. Thanks, Eric. ETA. <laughs> He's ETA, Howard. What's ETA? Eric the actor. Oh. <laughs> I Eric the uh, asshole, Eric the go down the 